uh, we light. Uh, we light. Seems good. Let's continue with some oxygen not included. And speaking of which, uh, it seems we have no oxygen. Um, it seems we really don't have a lot of oxygen. Uh, probably we've run out of algae again. We've got 1125 kilos. Um, that's like three deliveries to our oxygen diffusers. Um, I think I should probably make those high priority though. Um, let's see, we got one here. We got one here. Uh, what else? Uh, there's one up here. And one over here. And unfortunately we haven't been, uh... Getting our... It's currently erupting now. Oh, no, it's about to start erupting again. Um, but the the downtime for our water geyser is actually just running out right about now. Or has just finished running out. Um, so... Now we'll get our uh, electrolyzers working again which is gonna flood the base with oxygen but we can't rely on that just yet um we need we need algae badly so uh um let's go i don't want to dig any oh um i don't want to dig any up that's in our nature reserve right now um, maybe we could end up making another nature reserve since the, uh, what are they called? Pips? Since they've been planting seeds, um, for natural plants in various places. But for now, this one is going to have to remain untouched. Uh, I think we could probably take all of that. And deconstruct this one. Okay. So hopefully we get some oxygen going again before the base runs out of breathable air. That would be preferable. Do we have any water here? We do. So we're just waiting on someone to ride the uh, hamster wheel to get these electrolyzers starting, uh, started again. They should be able to run themselves off of the uh, hydrogen that comes out, just barely. But they can't start themselves. And it would help if everyone wasn't asleep in the carbon dioxide. That is a little bit unfortunate. I think we've got all of the manual generators that are connected to our oxygen diffusers set as a high priority. Um, this one's already got power. It's just waiting on algae. Picked up algae, I think. Yep. That looks rather weird. Wait, what? Why didn't you... What? What is this? Okay. Um, let's... Let's fix that, shall we? Get rid of these pieces of ladder right here. Someone is fleeing. Trying to escape. 
You got attacked by the poker shell? Happy team groomed protecting. Is it protecting its egg? Um, that's interesting. What does the description say? Bottom feeding invertebrates that consume the waste of discarded food left behind by other creatures. Formidably sized claws that fold safely into their shells. Hmm. It doesn't say anything about it, but I can only guess it was protecting its egg. Morning, Undead Hunter. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Yes, you are still alive. Although the oxygen situation is looking a little bit dire for the moment. Um, just a tad bit. They protect eggs. They are aggressive, indeed. Evil plant. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What? Why couldn't I place that? There we go. It's a bit finicky sometimes. Oh, we removed the pipe. That's terrible. Uh, can we hurry up with that? Actually, did we get the oxygen diffusers working? We did. Um, okay, so that's something. Um, I think I need to make sure... Yeah, this needs to be high priority. If there's no charge left in this battery, someone needs to get on this generator pronto. And it's still idle. Maybe I should make it top priority. Yeah, I think I will do that. Someone down here is assigned to it, no doubt. There we go. If I had a lot more metal, I would bring this generator way down here somewhere. So the dupes don't have to travel so far for it. But it does take refined metal to connect the conductive wire here. Is there no air here either? Jeez. Um, might have to get you to step off it pretty soon. Alright, so we got battery charge. We've got electrolyzers working. We've got a little bit of uh, hydrogen making its way to the hydrogen generators. Not enough to sustain itself and... They've already gotten off the generator. This is bad. No water going up? There is water going up. Um, we just need the power to run these things. Maybe I should add a coal generator to it. That would probably be a good idea. I would need a bunch more wire. If I dig down far enough, do I eventually see space? Because since the carbon dioxide wants to go down relative to oxygen, um, it would be very convenient if I could have a vent that outgasses the carbon dioxide into space that doesn't have to run the entire base. No, you see magma. Okay. Uh, Teo Griver. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, we've at least got some pockets of oxygen now. So that's good. I don't know why they're 
I guess there's no point in there being a door here since this is one giant room right now. Wait, what? Why are you wearing a suit and gasping for oxygen? Uh oh. Uh oh. Broken. How did it break? Um. It's not hot. It's like 31 degrees. Did it. Does it break if it loses power? Because of the wrong gas. Okay, I, that was my next question. I saw a different gas go in there, and I was wondering if it would actually cause a problem for the dupe uh, using the suit or something. Um, but I guess it's uh, a little bit both easier and more difficult than that. Uh, we got one, two, three tiles here. Let's get rid of that pronto. Uh, in fact, make that my priority. And then we're going to put in a gas filter. I guess I could have put it... Either way, this is fine. Alright, so... Everything else is gonna go here. And oxygen is gonna go here. Uh, and it will be needing power as well. Why can't I... There we go. And I have to wait till it's built before I can configure it. Okay, uh, breathable gas, oxygen, fantastic. To optimize your power usage? Can I share a picture of my electrolyzer setup? Uh, I, I think I'll figure that out myself. Dark explosive? Uh, Bezeloth? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I want to do at least one run through, uh, f fumbling through it as best I can before I, before I net deck solutions. That's why I asked, fair enough. Uh, Dark Explosive, thank you for the follow. Oh, welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. Alright, do we have this loop? Working at least a little bit. Probably because someone's on this thing now. So it was working just fine when we had two gas pumps, one electrolyzer, uh, one hydrogen generator. And as for the other stuff, we don't have to add any more. But it seems it, it should, if my math is not incorrect, um, be able to sustain itself if we double this up. The water pump is going to give us way more than one electrolyzer can handle, um, and everything else is ratioed based on the electrolyzer and the power requirements around what we need one of for everything else. Um, but I think the trouble is just... Well, I was gonna say, I think the trouble is how much power this consumes, making it harder to get off the ground. However, I did add some smart circuitry to make this lot only activate when we have plenty of power. In your math, have you took into consideration your rate of 60% usage? Um, well, regardless of the rate of usage, um, 
it's basically the the liquid pump will work at 10% or 20% now that we've doubled it. So that's like uh, 48 watts. Um, the hydrogen generator supplies 800. And this right here is uh, 600? 720. So 720 plus a little bit from the pump uh, gives us net positive for... Oh, and a tiny amount over here with the gas shutoff. Uh, gives us net positive for the cycle for this thing. Um, it gives us 112 grams per second of hydrogen. Um, the hydrogen generator consumes a little bit less than that. Hydrogen generator. 100 grams per second. Uh, the 12 grams per second can go in here. It only uses 10. So if we can get this thing running consistently, uh, it should be slightly net positive on hydrogen. But because of the way we get hydrogen in little bursts, we need to build up a significant buffer of it before it will go consistently um, self-reliant. So I'm thinking of just adding... Um, I'm thinking of just adding a coal generator to this to kick it, uh, to kickstart it, so that we don't have to have dupes running on the treadmill for ages to make that happen. Damsel, thank you for the raid. A oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Silent Storm, good to see you again. Doom Breed, Ragnarok, uh, Vlad. I'd ask how your stream was, but I saw most of it. Uh, let me give you a little shout out here. Did you get the call? Welcome, Mahalik. Can you dig to the top and to the bottom of the world? I want to see the end of the world. Um, we actually have dug to the top of the world already, surprisingly enough. So here is a bunch of regolith. Uh, and you can see there's a bunch of iron and maybe another element. Gold amalgam scattered around here. Uh, it gets hit by... Would you call it asteroids or meteorites? It depends where we are. Um, but it gets hit by meteorites, but this stuff keeps us safe from it for now. Hundred and twelve grams at sixty percent isn't hundred and twelve anymore. Yeah, but the consumption of it would also be at sixty percent if the production rate is at sixty percent. I'm excited to watch more of this. Nice, thank you. Uh, hopefully we're, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully we're doing a steam engine today. Um, I haven't, I haven't got plastic before, um, but we have found oil. This will be the first time I've exploited oil in this game. But first we've got some stuff, uh, we, we've got to get, set our house in order. There's way too much, uh, carbon dioxide around. We're running out of algae to turn into oxygen. Uh, and we're trying to get our stable loop of, what is it called, electrolyzing? We've got a infinite source of water here, although it's a little bit, it's been a little bit slow lately, because it goes dormant, um, about half the time. But then it belches out water, um, which we can pump up here shove it into the electrolyzer. The electrolyzer spits out uh, oxygen and hydrogen. The hydrogen, in theory, is just enough to power it, uh, to power itself with a hydrogen generator. Although it is a little bit difficult to get that loop started. Time for a 50 gigawatt Sour gas boiler? Sour gas? One electrolyzer working full-time will not give you enough H2 to run the H2 generator full-time. Uh, it was before, though. But then we ran out of uh, water, I think. First got to get his electrolyzer set up. 
we got it set up, but we doubled it and it got a bit more complicated. Um, I'm pretty sure, like, I've gone over the math multiple times. There should be slightly more than, uh, than enough electricity to run this entire circuit off of the hydrogen that it itself will produce, until we run out of water, that is. Um, however, the hydrogen comes out in little random-ish bursts. Um, so we need a certain amount of it uh, before it'll work reliably. So first we need, uh, we need to bootstrap it. And we've been doing that with a manual generator. But I want to add a coal generator to this. The only problem with that is we're going to have to deal with the carbon dioxide coming out. Um, and we're going to need to link it to this conductive wire. I want to take advantage of the gas pump setup I've already got to get rid of carbon dioxide here. But, well, how much, how much refined metal do we have? Uh, not, not any, really. I need refined metal to extend this conductive wire out. Haven't played in a while. Is it so bad now? What? Oh, I see. Thing like petroleum boilers are not straightforward. No worries. I found this game hard due to what felt like a lack of infinite solutions. Everything feels temporary. I suspect you have to do some stuff. Uh, I suspect I never learned enough. Yeah, it. There's a. There's a bit of a leap before you get to some infinite solutions. It seems like. I should probably dig out more of this algae and uh, slime. So that we can not suffocate for now. Your start asteroid doesn't have oil? Wait, what? So base game... Base game is better to learn. Oh, you mean without the mod. Okay, yeah, because we've definitely got... We've got an infinite supply of oil here, however slow that may turn out to be. Um... But yeah, I think what I might do uh, so that we can add a coal generator to this mess is extend this room. I'm going to have to get rid of some natural plants if I do that. Sleet wheat. Sleet wheat grain, decor, water... Dirt. Hmm, we've got some more over here. Or I could extend this out this way. Um, and then I would have to expand this wire over here. That's probably the way to go. It's going to be a little expensive, but what can you do? We do have some... Oh, tungsten counts as... Uh, as a refined metal that we can use for this. Okay, then. Alright, so we're going to want this wall expanded out here-ish. Why can't I... Oh, there's a plant there. It's going to be a little bit of a nuisance getting dupes over here to dig this. Um, but yeah, I think right about here would be the way to go. Okay. Why can't I place one here. Water weed seed? Wait, there's water weed behind this granite? 
Uh, I'm a little confused. Whatever the case, let's get that dig started. Um, high priority, please. Take a look at Transformers. I'm aware of Transformers. Um, they're just... They're rather bulky. Um, especially trying to squeeze them into the spaghetti that we have here. I've heard they are more than meets the eye. You... You didn't. You couldn't. You would never. Alright, how's our oxygen? Not as bad. Not as bad. Did we get... Some more of this. Okay. I don't think we need to go that far, actually. Um, we're gonna have to root this. I'm also going to need to get rid of that water, actually. Um, I've actually got something over here to deal with all of that, so why don't we just dig through here. We got printables. Uh, fried mushroom? Sure, why not? And we're up to 80k calories, so that at least is going well. If you know how to farm liquid hydrogen and oxygen, I do not. One lesson that I took from Factorio that helped me in this game was to spread out more than I thought I would need to. Yeah, definitely. That's uh, sort of the philosophy behind these... 64 tile rooms. Um, but we do sort of run out of space to expand the base without it going into really hot places. Or at least uncomfortably hot places. Uh, that is kind of the last place they should be going for oxygen, but oh well. Alright, so can we drain this away now? Oh, that poor plant. Uh, deconstruct that one, I suppose. And... Get rid of that, please. Thank you. And now we can finally replace this. Um, deconstruct these four, please. I don't think there's any wires or anything. Deconstruct this as well. Conductive wire. I'm going to need to run automation wire as well, aren't I? Which is going to add to the refined metal cost. Not quite as much as... Oh, you would be in the way, wouldn't you? I guess we can use a bridge. Wait. This, this costs five? So, wouldn't it be cheaper to run bridges across there, if we're being really stingy? Which we are. 
Oh, we can't just connect those directly. Never mind. We're not that desperate. It's fine. Uh, bridge. And... That goes there. And this will go here. This game demands wires everywhere. Yes, indeed. Alright, that'll be a bit more water for our electrolyzing system as well. I do have a filter to get rid of the... Uh... You okay there, buddy? Um, why are you sleeping? This is... This is not sleepy time. Um, can I tell him to move? Yes? Okay, could you now... Oh, he can't... He won't jump down here. I think that's why. Please... Please to be hurrying up with, uh... Digging this. No, don't sleep. Where's the nearest dupe? What? You are a digger. Why are you not doing this? Sleeping. Uh, there's nothing to say he's so exhausted that he'll just fall over. Red alert? Yeah, I, I set it to top priority. On the right of the speed. On the right of the speed? Oh, right. Duplicants will work, ignoring schedules and their basic needs. Okay, yes. All of that, please. Yes. Now run! Swim! Yes! Oh my goodness. We did it. Thank you for pointing out Red Alert. That, that made all the difference, I'm pretty sure. Luckily, we had this airlocked uh, room full of oxygen since this system hadn't been working for a minute. That was close. Indeed it was. I've never drowned a dupe. Um, me, me, me ne neither. I, I definitely... I mean, technically, I'm pretty sure... They've never drowned. I think I've seen one very, very early in the game. I've seen one just go to sleep inside the water for no particular reason. So that's fun. Not sure what I'm supposed to do to get rid of this water here. Oh, it's salt water as well. Oh no, is that going to mess this up? Uh, It might? Is the electrolyzer going to get upset if it gets salt water? Probably. Um. I didn't realize this was salt water. That's a problem. Well, I'm going to have to give it another filter. At least for now. Okay, let's deconstruct these three. Everything else it breaks. Yeah, I figured. And that's enough salt water that it'll it'll probably get busted as well. Um, I actually want that built last. For the moment, until we get the filter in place. Okay. And the ladder is in the way. I think if I remove this one bit of ladder, they can just jump past it, right? Probably. Okay, now we can finally put 
another filter because we can't just throw our salt water into... Yeah, no, we'd run into problems if, if we threw salt water into here. Um, where can I dump the salt water? Will this cause any problems? I don't think it will, at least not for now. Alright, that's... the salt water is going to be a problem for tomorrow, hacks. Which is better than it being a problem for now, hacks. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. Um, let's just be super lazy here and just dump the salt water. Tomorrow Hax has to fill all this, fix all the stuff. Yes, indeed. Gotta love all the slime lung air. No, it's fine. Don't, don't worry about it. It's totally fine. There's, there's no, there's no slime lung anywhere. Not even a little bit. It's totally fine. What is this? Oh. Floral scent germs. Oh, so this is just the kind of thing that triggers allergies. Uh, that's definitely not slime lung. You didn't see that. It's fine. It's fine they have great health insurance, yes. I will not charge them a cent. Alright, unfortunately that temporarily really is going to push the uh, the power needs of this thing over the edge a little bit. Actually, come to think of it, this liquid filter probably did as well, because this originally was nothing but fresh water, and then we drained some polluted water into it that we had to get rid of. If we can get this back to the point where there's nothing but fresh water in this room... Uh, then we can get rid of these filters, which will reduce the power. Uh, reduce the power requirements for this loop. Alright, where is it? Salt water? Uh. What? Oh, you can have liquid oxygen. Okay, salt water comes out here. And that should be it. And we are producing oxygen out of this is the main thing as well. That's what I'm more concerned about right now, as opposed to getting our self-perpetuating loop going. All right. Can someone hurry up with... Oh, it's already done? Doesn't look like it. No liquid intake. Oh, I see. rip my lungs out. Uh, also, Freka, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, happens. Welcome, welcome also. Alright. We got our coal generator. It's got power. It's got circuitry. Um, I don't think we do any configuration except at the smart battery, so it's going to behave the same way as the hydrogen generators. Uh, I would like to have it trigger at different intervals, but it's fine. We've got 34 tons of coal. I'm not too worried about that. Um, can we crank up the priority on supplying this thing? I 
I should probably put a coal storage here. This all have to do. I don't like the way the where I'm placing this becomes not visible sometimes. I haven't played since before the DLC came out. I think on my last run I was trying to figure wrangling to get infinite coal. Um, that's pretty much the easiest wrangling to sort out. You just wrangle hatches and feed them the cheapest, uh, like sandstone or something that you can. They'll eat almost anything, and almost anything you feed them, they'll they'll crap out coal. So you pretty much just need a critter drop off, a grooming station to make them happy, automatic feeder. Put it in a room that is 96 tiles or less. Um, and that's pretty much it. Find one in the wild and click on... Uh, click on Wrangle. Alright, there's our coal. And there's our hydrogen accumulating in the loop. Fantastic. Heat death is real. Uh, I mean, we've got the anti-entropy thermo working. Oh no. It's probably fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, but yeah, that's our... Oh, that's our oxygen looking good again. Fantastic. You seem fine, <laughs> indeed. Alright, can we shift focus now from immediate survival and slightly longer term survival to getting plastic? Um, I think what I would like to do... Wait, did that say lead is already a refined metal? 2,000 kilograms? Hell yes. Uh, let's keep digging, I guess. Uh, I think the first thing I want to do here is get a better look at this biome. And I think probably build a relatively large reservoir, or I could just like link this up here so that we've got our infinite supply of oil going into our reservoir of uh, crude. And then have I got the plastic thing researched yet? Refinement. Uh, I don't think so. Yeah, it's actually halfway done. Plastic manufacturing. Converts petroleum into raw plastic. Oil well extracts crude oil using clean water. Wait, what? But we've got the crude oil right here. Uh, let's see. Oil well. Must be built atop an oil reservoir. Oh, so is this not like the geysers? It's not just gonna spew out oil from time to time? Like this? Um, I guess I could look it up, couldn't I? Oil reservoir. Here we go. Rock formations with crude oil deposits beneath their surface can be extracted from a reservoir with sufficient pressure. So we need to pump water down there and water and power to get our crude from that. 1,000... 
one kilo of water makes 3.333 kilos of crude. Hmm. We could just take some of this crude for starters. I'm, I'm guessing we just need a small amount of plastic to get, like, our first, um... Our first solar, not solar, uh, steam turbine going. Plastic 200 kilos. Draws in steam from the tiles directly below and uses it to generate power. Outputs water. So this is like the condenser turbine from Factorio. Um, does it lose any of the water? Doesn't really say... Requirements liquid output, right? Okay, good. So we can pump the water where we want to. And the input is the tiles directly below the machine. 850 watts. That's not that much. But we should be able to... Useful for converting the geothermal energy into usable power. Yeah, so we can use it as a heat sink, I think. Condenses all of it into water. Um, steam engine. Does it tell us any more here? Wait, that graphic is different. Oh, steam turbine. Oh, is this? Utilizes steam to propel rockets for space exploration. Nice. Steam turbine. Draws in steam from the tiles directly below. This is exactly what we've already read about it. Okay. Um, can we just use a fluid pump to grab some crude oil? Should I build a little outpost all the way down here? Oh, that's oxygen in there as well. Although it is polluted. Should I should I build a little outpost down here or should I pump the oil way up here? I feel like since this is newbie time and we're like just experimenting, the smaller and simpler a solution that I can cook up better until we figure things out a bit more. Plastic creation makes a lot of heat, so all the more reason to do it here, I guess. Um, I could make a coal power plant. Coal in carbon dioxide out, that's actually really simple and not that much of a problem compared to some of the other ways that we can make power. What do we get? Enter an oil biome for the first time. Fantastic. Don't forget machines break at high temps as well. Yeah. Well, how... Hmm, I need that research finished. I probably want to dig in here anyway. I want that uh, diamond, actually. You can feed diamond to a radiant bug. Industrial grade, high density carbon, very difficult to excavate. Uh, specific heat capacity, thermal conductivity. Decor plus 100%. Uh, let's see what we're printing. Barbecue, sure, why not? I'm not getting any more dupes for a while. Overheat temperature plus 200 degrees. Plus 200 degrees. Wow. 
Does this count as, like, a refined metal? Or... Miscellaneous. Okay. Uh, I want to get at that lead as well. Fossil. Useful as a construction material. Melting point. Very, very hot. Uh, actually, I don't know. What's, what's hot for a melting point? Igneous rock. Melting point. 1400. What about... Sand. Oh, that's a lot of stuff. Melting point 17. Okay, so that's not anything to get excited over. Um... Okay. Fossil sometimes gives us lime. Oh, it gives us lime and sedimentary rock. And I guess we do have a reason to have the rock crusher, even if we've got the better machine for refining metal. You will need steel later. For steel, you need lime. Okie dokie. Alright, how's our loop doing up here while we're waiting for this? Fantastic. The hydrogen is well and truly uh, saturated in this part. And the rest of it is going to basically reducing the energy cost effectively of this loop. More importantly, we are getting oxygen out of it, and we're getting way more than enough hydrogen to run our anti-entropy thermo nullifier. Uh, sending a green signal if above negative 32. That's kind of aggressive, but that's fine, I think. This is supposed to be closed. Um... This has probably been leaking... I was going to say it's probably been leaking some carbon dioxide out, but... This is supposed to be a... Uh, airflow tile. But I see oxygen below the carbon dioxide? Very strange. I did set this thing to only activate when it detects carbon dioxide, but is, I guess, polluted oxygen? What's the mass? Um, specific heat, thermal conductivity, condensation point, that's not what I'm looking for. I'm trying to figure out if this is li uh, heavier than carbon dioxide. Five hundred and seventy-six grams versus eight hundred and thirty-four here. Two hundred, two point two kilograms of carbon dioxide here. You would think it would fall down here. Check the water overlay. CO2 is heaviest. Uh, Zaka Luca. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. It doesn't display graphically. There's water on top of the airflow tile. Oh. So, there it is. Okay, then. That will probably fix it. Oh, and I was going to set this to accept coal. Uh, let's see. Coal's not organic, is it? No. Metal ore? Definitely not. Liquefiable? No. 
Industrial ingredient? No. Consumable. Consumable ore. There we go. Alright. Let's get some coal delivered to... You know what? Let's get lots of coal delivered to this storage bin because... We've got three coal generators that I want kept running. Alright, what about down the bottom? We're still digging. Not too surprising, it is a bit of a long haul. The storage can work like a requester? Uh, yes indeed. You can change the priority of it, and you can change how much it's asking for. So I think... I mean, I'm pretty sure, based on what we're seeing right now, but I'm, I'm pretty sure this one will take... will take coal from other storages. How much coal do we have? 25.6 tons. And this can take 20 tons. That may be a little excessive. But, well, no, that just might be a little bit excessive. We need that sweep to get done. to confirm that this is why the gas wasn't getting down there. There should be someone on the way. Fantastic. And there's our carbon dioxide falling down below. And then we're going to detect some carbon dioxide, trigger the pump, and send it out to space. Fantastic. That's awesome. I had no idea. This whole idea will help a ton. Oh yeah, definitely a little bit. Uh, you just have to be careful with it, otherwise your dupes will fill up every chance they get and won't do anything else. Yeah. If I didn't have so much coal, it would have been a bit of a blunder to allow that request to stay so high. Um, I might just limit it to like 10 tons of coal. That's probably lots. I don't imagine they put coal in this that quickly. Let's see. Uh, one kilogram per second times three. So, uh, what are we? A ton is a thousand. So, we're looking at 333 seconds. Uh, five and a half minutes or so. Uh, that's actually pretty reasonable. About five and a half minutes of continuous... If all three of these were going full speed, continuous consumption of coal here. I'll definitely be careful with priorities. Learned that with uh, RimWorld. Alright, did we get rid of the salt water? Not even a little bit. I think we're going to have to wait till this is emptied um, before we can get rid of these liquid filters, which add another 250 watts to the cost of running this loop, which puts it well above being able to be self-sufficient. But now that we've added the coal generator to it, it's really not that big of a deal. Everything is a 5 unless it needs to be done now, then it's a 9. <laughs> yes. Alright, how's our... Oh, here we are. Alright, so this is a 100... Did we do the research yet? Uh, it hasn't moved. Even a little bit. That's a little bit surprising. 
insufficient resources water? Are you having a giggle? Oh. Oh, with our, with our Neapolitan polluted water over here and regular water here, we can't we can't use the pitcher pump to feed our supercomputer, which is the only way that we can feed our supercomputer some water. Okay. Um, can I just... I could put this here for a temporary solution. This is so weird. <laughs> uh, fluid mechanics in this game are a little weird. Still better than Factorio fluids. Still a better fluid story than Factorio. Alright, so that's gonna be our supercomputer coolant. Fantastic. Someone's gonna be doing research soon. That's why you have a tank for each type of water. Yeah. Well, all of it should turn into regular water eventually. But... Yeah. I, I... Or even if... When I had sucked up all this water here... If I had just dumped it over here instead of here... This wouldn't really have been a problem. But, alas. Okay. Hydrogen go burr. We're seeing more of it. Fantastic. Cramped. Uh... Where's the oldest one? 15, 15, and 15. I think the eggs count as... more critters. If I move the apothecary, I could make another critter home up here, or maybe I could just... keep this for some other room. And... We could do another critter home up here. That might be good. What's the heat like there? That's fine. And... I think... We'll be needing, like, this many bits of ladder so that the dupes can reach everything. May as well dig that while we're at it. Although, that's a pretty low priority. TBH. Uh, cleaning, digging, construction. Okay. Where's the dupe artist at? Uh, I'm not sure, but I haven't actually given him orders to do anything like make a sculpture for a while. Oh, we need to make another mess hall too, because there's not quite enough, uh tables for everyone. How did this happen? Our toilets are working. Hmm. Anyway, let's make some more sculptures, I guess. Love me a good dupe statue. 
Uh, what did we just get? Research complete, finally. Alright. So, plastic uh, polymer press. Needs quite a bit of petroleum, 240 watts. Uh, and it spits out plastic, steam, and carbon dioxide. Hmm. Uh, I don't really have anywhere to deal with the steam. 500 grams per second. Oh, half a kilo per second. That's not a whole lot. Don't we need 200 kilos of plastic to get our first steam turbine? Yeah, so 400 seconds of running... Uh, where is it? 400 seconds of running our polymer press. That's not just a, a little bit of steam. I mean, we, it, it doesn't produce that much per second, but still. Ideally, I would pump the steam into the room where we're going to build the steam engine. I need plastic just to plan it out, though. I hate that. I can't, like, place this somewhere. So that's kind of a catch-22. Sort of. That's a lot of heat as well. Uh, overheat temperature is only 75 degrees. So building it here would be a no-no. Which means we need to pump... Oh, it wasn't crude oil either. It was petroleum. So first we need to... First we need our oil refinery. That's going to spit out natural gas. Petroleum and natural gas. 10,000 DTUs of heat. Um, how hot is it up here? Not as hot. Why do I want to build this? We're going to have to pump crude oil all the way up to the oil refinery. So I guess we're just... Wait, how hot is this? Oh, and what is that? Magma. Speaking of heat. Okay. Uh, this is like 80 degrees. Just over 80 degrees. When we make our pipes... If we use the same sandstone we've been using... It doesn't actually say... when it would overheat. And I click on one of our existing pipes. Liquid pipe. Does it tell us what it's made of? Sandstone, there it is. Uh, temperature, melting point... Thermal conductivity, specific heat capacity... Not really? No blueprint without mods, indeed. You can start a creative mode of the game. I think this game has blueprints too. Uh, not without mods, yep. Whiskers, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Careful not to drop any water into the oil biome. It's a pain if there's suddenly steam everywhere. Oh, yeah. Um, okay. This is so hard to get started. I think we'll just build this somewhere where it's relatively cool and not 
that far from our base, but not so close that we're going to cook it. So maybe like here-ish? Um, and we could maybe do some regular tiles here. That is 60 tiles. That's almost our regular room size. Uh, maybe it would be good to have insulated tiles, actually. I guess we can we can start planning out slow heating overheat temperature plus fifteen percent igneous rock sounds good and we don't want thermally reactive uh, tungsten is very attractive for this purpose but rather expensive, so igneous rock is what we're going to make this pipe out of. And... make all the musical build noises... Oh. All the musical build noises... Nope, I messed up. Uh, B. It's about... I was going to say it's about time we could just go straight through here, but we really don't want to get water stuck down here. Hmm. How could I... I could mop this up. That might do it. Something might eventually spill down here, though. But I want the pipe to go... No, you know what? We're doing the pipe around the corner here. I, w I want... I want a guard against... Um, I want a guard against water flowing all the way down here. Mr. Hax, did you say if you were playing DLC? I, don't, I do not have the DLC. Uh, also, apparently it's like... Harder to get started... If you have the DLC, uh, it's more recommended for experienced players. I generally like to build a small lip just before the oil biome entrance. Indeed. Sloda, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Been playing the DLC and it's a pain. <laughs> yeah, I think I think Oni is hard enough to get started with without the DLC. <laughs> By the sound of things. Um, can we just dig that? And here comes Abe. Fantastic. Uh, I might need a little bit of ladder to make sure that gets done. Or I could just not dig all of this in one go, but this is a bit easier is less player attention. Where did I... Oh, here it is. We're still digging here. Oxygen is still looking good. Or... Or not, actually. We're getting 
quite a consistent flow of it from our electrolyzing, but it's not enough. Which means, once again, we're probably out of algae. Yes, we are. Uh, I don't like how we keep having to mine more algae just to stay alive. I would definitely just go for like eight tubes next time. The dude in the top room seems to be stuck. No mining between the ladder and the door. Dupe in the top room. Uh, up here? Oh. Yeah, quite likely. Uh, everything. No, not priority. Five. There we go. Okay. Do we even need a grooming station for just the hatchling eggs? I think not. Critter hatch. Uh, can we not... Can we not set it to not include eggs? Oh, and it tells you the limit. That's good. Hmm. I think I'm going to start a new one. No DLC. Because it's a lot, I can imagine. Without grooming station, they produce one egg in a lifetime. Okay. So if I get rid of the... It seems mean to get rid of the grooming station. But if I do get rid of the grooming station and get rid of the excess hatches so that they're not cramped anymore, this will just sustain itself. I'll wait till this is done first. This is going to block swap and not let the water in, right? Right? Are there owls in Oni? Not, not to my knowledge. <laughs> if you... Uh, also, Veldak, good to see you again. Oh, well, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I hope for some gore. Oh no. Uh, Zaka Luka. Good to see you again also. If you leave them glum, their metabolism goes down a lot and less coal. Hmm. If they're not overcrowded but there's no grooming station, will they be glum? They'll mine first and then place a wall which will let the water in. Oh no. Uh... Well, I guess hmm, we do have our water catchment area. You know what? We can do better. Uh, let's prioritize this. And we can move all of that down here. And that opens up some territory for us as well. In-place construction only works for already constructed tiles. Natural tiles will always be dug first. That makes sense. Uh, also, I guess, priority for this until we're ready. Ceiling collapse. Wait, what? 
ceiling collapse. Falling material fell on these duplicates and displaced them. Uh, I think they'll be okay. Oh. Um. Here you go. We got a whole lot of reed fiber we're apparently doing nothing with. What do we use reed fiber for? Clothing. Good to know. We got people idle, that's sort of a good thing. Oxygen is okay. It really does just collapse as soon as we run out of uh, algae, though. Maybe I should go even faster. I, I wish I could at least do like a copy paste with this stuff, but. Um... Yeah, maybe... Maybe I should go even faster with the electrolyzing. But we're just going to run out of water. I've already got enough here to run out of the water that c gets produced from the water geyser. Probably not great that we're blocking the water geyser from getting used with all of this that's flowing down here as well. Maybe I should add some water storage. Liquid reservoir. Um, I could put quite a few here very easily, actually. Although, we're a little bit short on regular old copper. How much does it store? Five tons. Five thousand kilos. Which is... Six hundred kilos in this tile. One thousand kilos in this tile. One thousand kilos in this tile. So it's like five tiles of water. So if you have water and... If you have a liquid reservoir and water in front of it, you're almost doubling the amount of water storage in that area. That's actually surprisingly bad. Um, even so... Probably okay if we do it like this. Probably. I want to make more room. Get the polluted and salt water out of the way. So that the water geyser does its thing. Squeeze through corners. That one tube is stuck now in the soon-to-be flooded room. Uh, which one? Soon-to-be flooded room. No? Question mark? Looks like both. Wait, what? There's a tube in the room that was gonna flood that is now stuck because the floor is gone. What room is gonna be flooded?
room that's gonna be flooded. Oh, because this isn't being built. Uh okay. Priority all of it, please. They didn't build this ladder, either. Wait, I don't think they would leap across two tiles with the ladder there, though. Yeah, it's not gonna flood. That's... not the worst place to sleep. It turns out there's oxygen there now. Or polluted oxygen. You're wearing a suit anyway. Although, oxygen is sort of running out. There's no power here. Let's do a print. Pinch a pepper seed. Sure. I haven't actually got um, any upside down arms yet. What are the requirements for pinch a pepper? We've already got some wild ones. Uh. Or at least one wild one that we're harvesting. Um, but let's see. Irrigation and fertilization. I think I'd rather just harvest the wild ones. Oh, what about gas? Doesn't have any gas requirements? Just air pressure? Body temperature, it has to be really hot, actually. Yeah, that's a problem. Only people in here, is there a mod for airlocks that actually works? As opposed to doing these weird water things for a proper airlock. So much work for your farmer dupes, the poor things. It's fine. Look, we've got idle people. It, it's totally fine. And we're finally, finally building this floor. They can only leap across one tile, right? No, don't... Build this one. There you go. Finally. Right before... Uh, Nerita runs out of air. Okay. Research complete. Mini pump, mini gas pump. Requires plastic. But I think it's two by one. Oh, it only uses 60 watts. 1,000 grams per second. So it's one tenth as much throughput. But it only uses... It's actually less power efficient. Uh, produces one quarter of the heat. But one tenth of the throughput. That's also worse. So it's worse in every way except for its size. The power cost is lower, but the power cost and heat per unit of liquid moved is worse. That's rather disappointing. Mini gas pump's going to be the same. 60 watt, 50 gram per second as opposed to 500. Yeah. Same ratio differences. Although this doesn't... Uh, the gas pumps don't produce heat. Main advantage is lower space requirement. Yeah, it's the only advantage. Mini pumps are super useful inside of rockets. Oh, I'm sure. How did this happen? Alright, uh, we are creeping towards having our room ready 
to try and set up some oil stuff. We're nowhere near having the pipes. How's our oxygen looking? Hmm. Could be worse. Could definitely be better. You know what? I think I do. Um, want to add even more electrolyzers here. Except, if that's going to be on the same circuit, we're probably going over the 2 kilowatt limit. Uh, what are we at? Well, it tells us, doesn't it? Potential load is already 1930. I would have to have a separate circuit. Hmm... That would mean probably not that much more. I should have just used the uh, heavy watt wires for this stuff. And then it would have been slightly more difficult to get past here. There's a wire bridge for this, isn't there? Or is there not? I don't think there is a heavy watt wire bridge. Hmm. So... If we do a whole other... whole other loop here. Well, not whole other loop, but... This would power this. All of the hydrogen from here would go to here. We'd have to have another generator to kickstart it. It's quite the nuisance. Let's hope we don't need it. A Sigma Beam. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, cool. We got our water. Slowly filling up. That means we'll be able to get rid of some of this faster and hopefully take advantage of the geyser a bit more. I think it will just not erupt because it's immersed right now. Feels like we're not even running on fast speed with how long this is taking to get done. settings for the credit drop-off. Does a hatch... Does a hatchling egg count as a hatchling? Probably. So... This is just hatch and not hatchling, but we've got the eggs here anyway. Uh... Oh, I think I know. We just need a storage... That includes eggs, right? Eggs count for the overcrowding, yeah. The critter drop-off won't summon eggs, but... Um... Let 
apparently we needed this here. If we do if we have a storage bin that can summon eggs, I think. No research folks selected. Um, why don't we just start checking off things that we don't have? So even if the egg is in the storage bin, um, it's going to count towards the the creature count for the stable, right? I imagine. Eggs won't incubate in storage, they will eventually die? Then how do I get, uh... How do I get the eggs put in this room to incubate? There's an incubator? Do I really have to use the incubator just to do that though? It needs 240 watts. And it produces a ton of heat. You could do storage if you manually monitor them. So what, if I have all the eggs moved here and then... And then just empty it afterwards? Oh. It just instantly drops. That works, I guess. Um, what do I need for this to count? Rooming station... And nothing else, basically. Yes, that. Yeah. How much algae do we have? Zero. It literally just got to zero. That's clay. We can turn slime to algae. It's a bit slow though. Two hundred grams per second, that's not that great. Especially for 120 watts. Why are we not coming? Oh, I see. Uh, Vlad imploded. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, take care. Getting close to 6am. Have a good stream. Thank you. Andy Gaming, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Stopped with SEK2? Not at all. We're doing that on the weekends, that being tomorrow and the next day. Uh, you can see it in the schedule if you check there. Access to shipping. What? I think I built an auto sweeper once very early on in the game. Um, but it was a bit sort of jumping the gun. Got me worried there for a moment. No worries. West Tube, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. They've improved the auto sweeper since then. How so? Uh, 120 watts. 
2,000 DTUs of heat. Automatically delivered to any conveyor load or conveyor receptacle storage or buildings within range. It's not as frightened of everything and more sensible behavior, I see. When we've got consistent power, maybe. Okay. Once we get this tile built... Actually, I think they can reach here already. I can probably get rid of this. That's a lot of pipe that we still have to build, though. And we're going to have to run wire all the way down there as well. Uh, maybe I'll use iron ore, since we're so low on copper. Um, let's see. Can we keep it under a thousand for this circuit? Two forty watts. Uh, four eighty. That is uh, six hundred, seven hundred and twenty. Plus the pump. It is just a pump to get the crude oil in the first place, right? Plus 240, so we're up to uh, 960 watts already. So pump, oil refinery, polymer press. That's all that we can fit on one circuit, unless we use the expensive wire. Or I could use heavy duty, uh, heavy watt without using refined metals. A hundred... Uh, we could do 269 tiles of that before running out of iron. Well, let's just get a feel for this. That's like 70. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Uh... Wait, I can just do it like this because we're in wire mode. Okay. Heavy duty wire. Heavy what wire, rather? We're looking at like at least 130 or so. Call it 150. So that would be. More than half of our iron. Uh, which other things do we need to deal with the byproducts? This gives us natural gas. And... This gives us steam. And carbon dioxide. So, unless I'm going to pump the carbon dioxide all the way up into space, uh, we're going to use a carbon skimmer. That's going to give us polluted water, though. And we have to pump water into it. Okay. Um, this is going to be a bit of a pain to make at first, but I think... I think we'll thank ourselves for it later. Actually, why don't we use the igneous rock for this? We're going to have just a, a vent to get rid of CO2 that's going to go everywhere. Insulated gas pipe is 
16 times as expensive. I might consider upgrading to that in some of the really hot or cold areas. But for now, we'll just run it like this. And we're going to need... Run this down like so. And then, uh, I guess, where am I going to squeeze this through? We'll add some tiles here. Oh, that doesn't have to go there, actually. Something like that. Scrubber plus water filter? What is a scrubber? Do you mean the carbon skimmer? Plus water filter. Do you mean the water CF? But the water CF has its own problems, right? Water CF... Loses produces polluted dirt, so we, we've just shifted the problem. That yellow water is concerning? Nah, it's fine. It's totally fine. We are filtering it when we suck it up, and then we're, uh, we're turning the polluted water back into regular water. So instead of carbon skimmer, we'll eject the carbon dioxide into space. Um, I don't want to waste the... Does it output carbon dioxide with a pipe, or does it just spit it out? Liquid intake, liquid output, natural gas. So that's probably just going to spit natural gas into this room. Um, gas output pipe, carbon dioxide. Okay, perfect. Petroleum comes from here. Let's say we put that there. I thought this had Liquid intake right, does. So that's going to go to there. What's your... Carbon dioxide, steam. What's F7 again? Ventilation. Yeah, so this is going to go to here. Uh, this is going... Here, and we also need to get rid of natural gas. What's the side effect from this thing? Polluted water and carbon dioxide. Okay, so that's two sources of water um, that come from this place. I think I do want to keep it airtight, though. 
It also outputs carbon dioxide. I guess into this pipe. Oh, we're gonna need a gas pump just to pump it from this room into this thing, I think. Yeah, we did that over here. That's a lot of power adding up. I wish it would tell us how much it's gonna cost from this screen. Natural gas generator ejects the polluted water straight onto the floor. Yep. So I'm thinking we'll have to have um, a pump as well just to not let this place get flooded. And that becomes someone else's problem. I mean, it'll be outputting steam and polluted... It'll be outputting water and polluted water, basically. We've actually used up all of the space in here. Don't even have room to add the coal generator that I had in mind. Um, someone else's problem equals everyone below. Yeah, that's how that works. Uh, we're definitely going to need more than a thousand watts for this, right? We got... A oil refinery is 480. Plastic is 240. Um, so that's already... 720. And then we've got a pump and a air intake, which is 240 each. That's almost 500. Oh, and we need a pump down here as well. So yeah, uh, that should be comfortably well within 20 kilowatts. Um, how much can the coal generator give us? Only 600. So we're going to need like two or three of these to support this mess. And I think I'll just pump the carbon dioxide into this room so that we can... Well, no, we're not pumping it into the room, we're pumping it into that pipe. Uh, what's the heat like? Yeah. Uh, Salford Sal, thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How was your stream today? Welcome, raiders. Let's get rid of these weird, uh, ladders. Uh, I guess I should probably move this oxyfern. It's not even... It's not even growing right now. Let's remove it. Early birds are here, yes indeed. Welcome Death, Jitterbug, Galactic Dragon, Darkfire Phoenix, good to see you again. What, how, why, I had one Sal tab and one T-Hacks tab, now I've got two T-Hacks tabs. <laughs> nice. Had a lovely stream, playing a strange fun colony manager slash murder? mystery thing called Camp Canyonwood. Very interesting genre soup there. Rainbow Tea Kitty. Welcome, welcome. Thunderclap Sasquatch. Nice name. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, maybe it would be easier if I do the coal here, but it's kind of hot as well. It's not that hot. We've already got all these other pipes, and we're going to have... Oh, we're not using this power anymore. Let's get rid of that. Uh, Thunderclap Sasquatch and Rainbow Tweet... Uh, Rainbow Tea Kitty, thank you for the follow. 
quick hi, but I have to go, so hi and bye. Fair enough. Take care, uh, Galactic Red Dragon. Thanks for stopping by. What challenge are you running? Uh, the challenge of... Wait, did I leave the challenge? Oh, I left challenge run on from when I was playing Terraria. My bad. Uh, I'm running the challenge of figuring out Oni for the first time. How's that? Uh, so we're gonna need at least two. Uh, old power plants here. That's certainly a good challenge. Uh, Stefanos, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, we're gonna need some batteries, certainly. One at the very least, so that we can do our smart circuitry. And I should probably leave room for at least one more. Um, I haven't actually done the math, but I we, we might need one more coal generator here. I'll never get tired of the JP T-Rex for <laughs> ice. Okay. So I'm gonna do a uh, heavy watt wire to connect all of these. Uh, it doesn't go through the doors, that's fine. Oh, it doesn't go through walls either, in the usual way. Um, can we just do this here? And I guess we need one here-ish as well. Oh. I just realized they're not going to be able to reach to build this insulated wire. Um, I could make it easy on myself by just doing this instead of replacing all this stuff and then building ladders. Sadly, I gotta go pretend that I work. Alright, take care, Stephanos. Thanks for stopping by. Didn't mean to get rid of that ladder, but it doesn't matter. How's our loop going up here? It's functioning. I'm not seeing any hydrogen, actually. Oh, we've run out of water. Wait, what? Okay, uh, this water storage didn't work the way I imagined. Um... Oh, I should have flipped it. I can't flip it. I'm a little bit surprised by that, considering I was able to flip the uh, Thermo Aquatuna. So... I guess we want to remove those bits of pipe. And maybe this bit of pipe, but maybe not. And then run that through like that. Oh. I didn't mean to do that. We can fix that easily. Okay. Printables. We get a little baby Drecklet, sure, why not? I don't think we've... Oh, I probably should have checked first. Overcrowded Glum, that's suboptimal. And our oxygen machines are not working because we've got no... Uh, algae. We're really scrounging around for algae at this point.
There's some algae here, at least. I don't particularly want to dig that stuff up. Aziz, light! Found a button, I'ma press it. Yes, indeed. Uh, that's mostly for Terraria, when I forget to keep things... Oh, and Factorio as well, but I've got a mod or two that'll help with that this time around a bit more. Oh, we don't have a way for them to reach this now, do we? Name a pawn. I am suck. No worries. What do we got that's not taken yet? Uh, we got Kevin DK that I missed previously. Abe hasn't been named yet. I A M S A R K E. How many more pawns that have I got that are on default names? Uh, Neritar is not a default name. Rowan. Meep. Ari, Quinn, Bert. We've got five left. I'll have to remember to turn that, uh, maybe turn that request off if we get full up. Research complete? Is it all the research that we queued up? It is not. Fantastic. Oh, we, we already checked this. We got smart storage. Food has decayed. Well, we've got 100k calories, so I'm not that worried about that. I'm much more worried about how we're slowly running out of... Not oxygen, but rather what we need to make oxygen. How's our water looking now? Much better. That will do. Pipes and liquid flow work best when it's not ambiguous which way the water packets should go. Indeed. So you might want to set the water tanks in series, one feeding into the next. Yeah, I already had the pipe there, so I was being a bit lazy about um, placing those pipes. Um, I don't think we're consuming or storing this water fast enough to make the most of the geyser. Solid transport complete. Fantastic. So much water, what a mess. Should I add another... No, it's probably overkill. Should I add another Atmo dock? I don't have another suit either. You can make oxygen from water? Uh, yeah, I've been doing that, but we do actually run out of this water eventually. The geyser doesn't erupt all the time. It's also not enough to keep up with um, the base. Mad Mike, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What is going around in circles so it's slowing down the flow? Uh, the flow... the rate that water gets consumed up here is really, really slow, so I'm not that worried about that. Not in this instance. Uh, how's this room looking? It is indeed a stable. Uh, and we've got what? It says storing zero out of five critters, but the eggs did seem to matter before. Okay. Okay. 
So many steps involved to get 200 kilos of plastic. And so much piping. I want to get my hand on that lead, uh, hands on that lead though. How much lead do I have already? Did I get some? We did. 1.7 tons. So does that mean... It does indeed. We can start using lead for these things. Oh, that's going to be so much easier. Let's get some more. We need way more stuff built to support it first. The reservoirs only store about five tiles worth of water. Yeah, I noticed. For mass storage, it's better to build big rooms. Uh, best would be big rooms plus... Well, if you want maximum density, it would, it would be a big room that also has reservoirs. Uh, but they do cost a non-zero amount of metal, so... But yeah, I was I just wanted a buffer so that we could get this water out of the way. Um, so hopefully we can filter away this uh, polluted water and salt water. Not to mention... oh. 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 Well, I'm not even going to worry about it. I want to get rid of this. <laughs> it's, it's honestly less of a hassle than having this water sticking around for that much longer. Uh, but yeah, I want to empty this entirely so that we can get this back to being just water, so that we don't need the liquid filters. Probably a bunch of ice just melted. Yeah, there's been a steady trickle of melting ice. Although currently we're at negative 40 here, so that's pretty good. Although, it seems like we're getting close to running out of hydrogen to run this thing. Maybe I should find a way to tap this steam vent up here for another infinite water source. And we can electrolyze and have a steady supply of oxygen from that. Or maybe I could find, uh, dare I hope, I could find another water geyser that doesn't spit it out quite as hot as steam. Also, it was 500 degrees steam up here, so that, that's a lot of heat to worry about. I understand the, uh, the steam engine can basically delete heat. So we can really start to manage things after that. But we gotta get there first. We need our 200 kilograms of plastic before we can make our first steam engine. And for that, we need to bring oil all the way up here. 
I need a whole lot of machines just to support that one, well, two operations. looks weird. I've seen this thing not emit water when these tiles are all full of water. But I'm not exactly sure what it's doing here. Asan Danina, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. If you only need such a tiny amount, why not bottle it? Uh, it's not that tiny. Besides, I want it hooked up automatically to our infinite water source here. When the pressure gets too high, it will stop. Okay, so it's actually still outputting? Even though it's totally saturated? I guess? I might have to let the water drain out to get rid of that polluted water and salt water. Just because of the way the salt water is sitting in the corner there. But of course, the moment I get rid of the filters, that's when the salt water will somehow migrate over this way. Printables. As long as it doesn't say overpressurized, then it's outputting. Okay. Uh, you can get some brine. <laughs> okay. I guess we'll just take a hatchling. Maybe I should prioritize those builds, but on the other hand... They're useless until all of this happens anyway. Speaking of which... I was going to say, speaking of which, I need to run uh, Abel all the way down here as well. But we may as well, uh, may as well wait till the other builds are done. Oh, and we need to... I almost forgot. Hmm. We need to suck the CO2 out of this room as well. Maybe... Build that there? What? No, not there. Why can't I place this? I guess it has to be not where these things line up. Then airflow tile. Oh, now they're not going to be able to get through here. You know what? Uh, let's not. Let's put it over this way. What? 
and airflow tile, and this goes here. And then I realized that we wouldn't be able to fit our coal generator here if we need a third one. Okay. Uh, so how does this fit exactly? Something like this. That'll be in the way still. Why don't we just go all the way over here? And pretend that we're going to add yet another one just to be safe. Why can't I copy this? There we go. Okay. So that would look something like... That's wrong. Airflow tile. Power thingy. Heavy duty. Don't actually have to get rid of the, uh... No, I think I do want it to be insulated. So let's just make room for the last of those... ...coal generators first. I know abyssalite is... ...pretty... How good is it at insulating? Does it say? Properties... Thermal conductivity... zero? Uh, well that can't be right. Conduct heat to other materials at a rate of... zero. Nunny? It's near perfect insulator? Okay. Uh, that's actually coal, so we can replace that at least. Abyssalite, igneous rock, that's iron, boss right. Okay, that actually should be insulation tiles. And that's just boss right. So how fast does this conduct? Uh... Very, very slowly, but a hell of a lot faster than Abyssalite. Oh, what a mess. Luckily, we've got our catchment area here. Which still no one is sweeping up. Um, is this all happening? No. I was going to say, is this all happening at a scale much smaller than I think? And that's why water behaves this way. But then the numbers that we get for, like, how much metal, how many kilograms of metal we place just to put some wires down is much too high for that. If you can avoid digging into abyssalite, it's a great insulator, yeah. Okay, how's our oxygen? Wow, that's really good, actually. stuff up. What a complicated mess. Research complete. Conveyor shut off. Conveyor receptacle. Conveyor meter. Fantastic. And we're actually... Oh, it's 70 points for this stuff. 
Hmm, we're not going to need that just yet. But on the other hand, I'm going to forget about it. And there's nothing that we urgently need, so I think I'll just let it get researched. This has to be one of the wettest bases I've seen. My heart's breaking. I think the drizzle from up here, like the con... What? 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 Uh... What is happening here? Moist. So, I see polluted water and I see it freezing, I think. And now it's stopped. Don't be sad, you're doing way better than any new person I've ever seen that doesn't look up a guide. And thank you. Okay. We are slowly creeping towards... most of the build that we need for our first plastic. Very slowly. It is still the ice biome melting, and when the temp fluctuates it jumps between ice and fluid. Mm. But that tile was like... Uh, okay, yeah, it is fluctuating. Why is it fluctuating that much? There's plenty of hydrogen for our AETN. Hmm. Next we'll figure everything out. We'll see. Electrolyzers nearby are heating up the space. How much heat do they produce again? Uh, this would be a bit of an easier way to look at it. 1.25 thousand DTUs of heat each. Hmm. It's not a perfect simulation, there's lots to calculate, so they had to make some shortcuts, that makes sense. And it results in wonky behavior sometimes, yeah. Uh, hydrogen is actually sitting at... For a moment there, both of these had enough to just wait a little while. I'm really tempted to just drain this so that we can get it down to just water. So we... Yeah, let's do it. Uh, just turn that into a mesh tile for the moment. No, let's... Let's make a mesh tile here and then we'll block swap it back later. Also, this is a good opportunity to do this. I guess we don't need this mess right here anymore. A single hydrolyzer is perfect for a single generator, but since you're also running the nullifier, they're a little starved. Uh, the nullifier doesn't use electricity, it just runs off the hydrogen. But because we've got these two uh, liquid filters here, it like we're, we're already on a tight budget to run this just off of its own hydrogen. Um, but because we have to filter the water, it's actually a problem. So 
So once we swap this out, we're going to drain all of the fluid out of this. And then we'll change it back to a normal tile so that this will just be water. What the? <laughs> that is so weird. Glob. Oh my goodness. Oh my lord. Flushing Paco down the toilet? Should we make a... Should we make a home for them? Where could I even fit that right now? Up here, maybe? I could even drain this water into it? Uh, how would that... How would that work? We're not going to have room for our usual number of tiles here. Oops. That'll make it a little easier to get all of that done at first. Uh, and we've got, what, fish drop-off? Critter drop-off, fish release. Releases trapped Paku back into the world. So is that just like the critter drop-off? Yes. Storage capacity, 20 tons, what? Automatically bring captured... A fish release must be built above liquid to prevent released fish from suffoc... Oh, this is big. Uh, I don't think we can fit it in our usual shape here. It's four, it's four tiles tall, and it has to be built above liquid. Or does it just have to be the top of it that's above liquid? That sounds about right, actually. So what if we put this here? And... I could make the pool significantly bigger if... We have a sideways door. But then we'd still have to have the water only go up to like here unless I do something different with this. Uh, and then what else? Critter feeder? Or is it different for the fish? Probably different. Fish feeder. Oh, what the... That is gigantic. How does this... Automatically dispense... Can I... Fish feeder. Does it have an example? Automatically dispenses stored critter food into the area below. So... Like that? Um, I guess that water's not going to be there once we build this. Okay, let, let's build what we've got. And we'll let that water into here. And then we'll experiment with fish farming. the water. Oh, we've got... we've got stuff. Let's 
smart battery. Wait, what? Smart battery. Errands, construction supply. Okay, cool. Uh, we will be needing some automation wire. I don't think we'll be needing it for anything other than... Our coal generators? If I want to be just a little bit lazy, I could just pump whatever gas is in this room into space. And not bother with the gas filter. Okay. Oh, that's... it's happening. And what a mess it is. Can I sweep this? I actually can. Cleaning... like priority, please. gonna deconstruct these water filters. Oh. Oh, that's unfortunate. The hot water is... Oh no. Oh no. Uh... Well, our base is getting a little bit hotter for the moment. My bad. Don't die just while you're doing this, please. Okay. Could, could you maybe stop for the moment, actually? That's a problem. How much longer is it going to output for? 385 seconds. Uh... Next dormancy, 60... 66 cycles? Or, no, that's like the big dormancy. So, like, less than 86... Uh, less than 385 seconds before it's gonna stop for a bit. Oh, wait, I need to get certain people aside. Even the doctor's office? Uh, let's get Bert and Kevin DK assigned for triage. This is fine. Uh, this is not fine. We're cooking the base. Um. Maybe if we deconstruct this, the salt water and polluted water will blow out nice and quick. Without scrubbing this up. Oh, it's stopped. It's finally stopped. Okay. High priority. Don't deconstruct this, actually. Water is draining out of the nuclear reactor? Uh... I don't think we have one yet. Someone gonna come and fix this? Uh, Sekun, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Research rubber boots confirmed. Speaking of research... Did we finish what we were doing? Well done. We did not. Okay, cool. Printables. 
Omelette. Easy choice. And Paku is now free? Uh... Wait, where did Paku go? I thought Paku would be here. Uh-oh. Oh my god. Okay, uh, I can't wrangle this yet. I guess we need one of these. Freedom. <laughs> okay, um, do we need, like, Critter Ranching 2 or something? Oh, someone's got Critter Ranching 2. So... They should be able to... Someone should be able to wrangle a Paku, right? I'm guessing we just need... We need this first. Paku can't be wrangled, only trapped. Fascinating. Okay. Well, we've got... We've got one up here. Oddly enough. Fish trap. Fish trap. Uh, we need plastic for that. No! What if I just... I guess if I get this Paku to fall into our fish home, it's still going to count as wild. Fish trap is a building. Okay. Oh, are we finally getting it cleaned up? Yes. Now, sweep. All of this as a super high priority. And build this tile super high priority. Period only babies coming out of an incubator can be moved. I see. Um, that's quite a bit of hydrogen. That's good. How's our coal now that we've been using it? Still 33 tons. I did prioritize that cleaning, right? Yeah. Here we go. Preferably before this thing starts starts belching hot water again, please. I think it's getting ready. Um, I might just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's forbid this door. Fantastic. So that just shaved off... Uh, is it 240 or 480? Um, 240 watts from our circuit here. And it should now be able to run off just the hydrogen once it gets, uh, once it accumulates some, it'll be more consistent. Okay, can we mop that up as well? Weirdly enough, we can mop this, apparently. Uh... 
we're actually running this coal generator already. Can we... Disable that for now? And can we maybe get this construction finished? Don't really need that one. Is that what I think it is? Uh, yeah, we're gonna need... I'm gonna need to filter this as well. Gas filter... This is kind of awkward. Let me just double check what gases this is going to produce. So the refinery is natural gas that gets pumped. Uh, no, that just gets spat into the room. This is going to consume natural gas, but we have to pump into it first. Um, plastic makes carbon dioxide, which is already going up here. Natural gas generator also makes carbon dioxide, which is going up here. Polluted water is going to get handled by that pump. Steam turns to water is going to get handled by that pump. So, there should be nothing but carbon dioxide in this room, in the long run. So I think we can put our gas filter here? No, I don't think we should do it that way, just in case. Um... All gas in, carbon dioxide out, well not, no, 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 uh, what is it called? Uh, natural gas goes here, everything else gets ejected to space. That should be fine. Why are they not building this as well? Oh, I think I lowered the priority on these a while ago. Okay. How is this thing working? Quite good, actually. All of our water supply... Water reserves are well and truly full. We're seeing a lot more H2. What's all this then? Oh, that's just gas that's queued to get ejected into space. And we're actually bottlenecking on spitting out enough oxygen now through one pipe. Um, that's kind of a good sign. And one pipe at max throughput, supply enough oxygen for the whole base. Oh, this thing's not outputting based on pressure. Okay. In that case, more... Can I do a pipe bridge? I can. I can't do an insulated pipe bridge. I could make it out of igneous rock, though. I'm sure the gas pressure is not going to be that different over here. Uh, 
Could we actually put this here? Is that okay? I don't think that's the best idea. Let's just put a vent here. And maybe even down this way. Doesn't matter if it's insulated inside the base since you want the heat to lower there anyway. Yeah, that's why I'm pumping cool air down here. Um, so we've got cold biome. Uh, we've got our entry anti-entropy thermo nullifier running until we get to negative 32 degrees. Uh, we've got a lot of the oxygen passes the thermo nullifier, uh, and then we start using insulated pipe here. So when the oxygen comes down here, it's relatively cool. So that we can... Ooh, that's scary. So that we can keep our base relatively cool. Uh, we did just recently have a big spill of hot water down here, so maybe this isn't indicative of the long-term trend. But you were worried about the bridge not being insulated? Oh yeah, that part I'm not that worried about. By that point, the cold air is already where it's supposed to be. That's true. Um, but yeah, we've actually got zero algae, which probably didn't happen two seconds ago. Uh, and yet our base is full of oxygen. Although this state of affairs will not last indefinitely. Um, we've actually got the water geyser will stop. Um in 63 cycles. All the more reason that we should probably have more water storage. Yeah, it's really easy to throw some down here. So we'll do that, at the very least. Maybe I could just dig this out here so we have a much bigger pool uh, for the geyser as well. That's gonna be that's gonna mean more heat, but I don't know that I'm overly concerned about that, especially because this ultimately lets us run the cooler. And we're pumping cold air back down to the base because of this. You will need to insulate your living area slash base, uh, otherwise the other biomes will heat up your base over time. Yeah, that's a good point. Um, insulated tile just costs... It's only double uh, resources and I think a significant amount of build time. So we could probably go to the trouble of doing that on the edges, especially where there's heat. I don't want to let hydrogen into the base. Hmm. This is not the usual 64 tiles, I think. Uh, yes it is. Okay. I could build these tiles here first. Farm Lily. I don't particularly want to move that. Hmm. 
could we risk a little bit of H2 getting into the base as a treat? Fix that. Only time will tell. Okay. Oh, we actually got all this. So let's see, we've got... Oh, it actually tells us potential load 1.44 kilowatts. Uh, that is a little bit more than 1200. So that's only if everything runs at the same time, but also we're going to be adding more to it still. So let's add one more coal generator, I suppose. And the millisecond that this is built, I want to disable it as well. Until the build is complete. The hydrogen will move up since it is lighter. You also should consider building air vents in each floor. Yeah, maybe. I don't know, this is working pretty well. We could probably have air vents like every third floor or something like that. I don't like how hot it is. As long as it cools down enough that we don't. Uh, these are actually still below 30 degrees. Yeah, I don't think we're going to have trouble making food or anything. That's the main thing. At least for now. Uh, maybe it would be good to have a water catchment area here. since we haven't seen the last of water flowing down from up here. Okay. Um, brain's going a little bit blank for the moment, and it is well and truly past time to take a little break. So let's set up some words on the stream. Yucky lungs. That sounds nasty, to say the least. The trick to this game is to split up all the gases and exploiting them. Indeed. Beldak is pleased. Alright, uh, words on stream will be starting in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck and have fun. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer.
One more. Fantastic. Okay, let's continue, shall we? On to the next level when we take another break. Fantastic. And for now, back to oxygen not included. Thank you, Valdek. All right, let's crank up the priority on this one because I want to see when it gets built so I can disable it. Oh, also, I should have done a storage, um, but we can just put it here. We have printables. What is a lava egg? I am suck. You know you can heart... Uh, Heat and cool gases to make them do different things. Yeah, we're not that far yet. Uh, wait, what? Did I typo this? Love. Lava egg. L A R V A. Huh? I'm missing something? Oh, Slickster. That's what that is. Yeah, we don't... We can't handle a Slickster right now. Let's reject that. No entry for eggs, only the mob itself. Fair enough. Okay. Um, I can't just set this ahead of time, so I'll priority bump this coal generator so that we can get uh, get it set to disabled until we've got the whole thing built. You can crack the egg for food. Oh, that's good to know. I think we need a machine for that though, right? Egg cracker. Duplicate operation. Oh, it doesn't require any kind of power or anything. Um, I feel like it would be a little bit rude putting the egg cracker in the, uh, in the hatch room. Just, just a little bit. Let's put it next to the stove. Hey, 
Next to your cooking station equals raw egg equals omelette. Equals raw egg equals omelette. Oh, as in there isn't one there right now. You need to be a four-star cook to be able to crack an egg. Nice. Night Dancer, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Awaiting delivery tungsten. Wait, oh, that's for the automation wire. Where are you going? Supplying coal generator. Perfect. Also, food rot rots faster in polluted water, so you might want to move your cooking to some place where it drips less often. Uh, we're doing something about the drips over here. Um, why don't I... Oh, here we go. Fantastic. I guess this is like a secondary practically infinite source of water, since it never seems to stop. I also wanted to expand this pool. Um, something like... Like this. Should probably put some insulated tiles here as well. Maybe like that. Can't quite put that there. Oh, I see. I have to cancel this, don't I? And up here... Don't need this anymore. Don't need this anymore. Oh, that's dripping on either side because of this thing. Probably start with the top. And remove these, remove these, remove those actually. Now the drip water just goes to the left side, yeah, yeah, yeah. Leave that build order until they're done. Okay, there it is. Disable building. Uh, this is going to be nothing but coal. They can copy that setting from here. Do I need anything else delivered? I don't think so. Need to run this all the way down here as well. Almost perfect.
We are running out of iron. 3.8 tons after this. That'll have to do, I suppose. Expensive cable? Yeah. But it's the easiest way to deal with um, having to go well over 1,000 kilowatts here. I mean, even if I did use... Hmm, if I used a transformer... Any amount to 1,000. What does this cost? 200? Uh, that might be the way to go. Am I ever going to need more than a thousand kilowatts down here? We're going to put a... Uh... It's not the oil refinery. Where is it? Oil... Oil well? What's oil well under? Refinement? Uh... Hold on. Well, well, well. Plastic manufacturing... What category is it under? Oil well utilities? Utilities. That's kind of weird. Okay, so this needs 240 what? It also needs water input. That doesn't cost power. Um, and it just outputs crude oil. Which we can just put into this pipe. So, 240 watts plus, uh, 240 watts, 480. I can't really anticipate too much more. I guess we could all, uh... Is it easier in the long run if I use the heavy watt wire? Am I gonna want something else down here? That's gonna push it beyond a thousand watts sooner or later. There are oil geysers in the game which won't output anything unless you put an oil well on it. Uh, yeah, that's what we've got here, right? Or is that... Oil reservoir? I think I... Crude oil deposits beneath the surface can be extracted from a reservoir with sufficient pressure. I would build another generator down there if I need so much power down there. Yeah, maybe. We can always replace it as well. I mean, that would create a whole lot of labor, but... It's creating a whole lot of labor in the short term um, to need a transformer for this. Why don't I just put this somewhere like here? And transformer. It is this one, right? As opposed... Well, it's definitely not the large one. This one outputs limited to 4 kilowatts. That That's an odd number that doesn't line up with any of our power cables. Um, but yeah, this one is limited to 1,000. So then we can use regular wire. Oh, that was almost so clean. There we go. And after we do that, we're going to have 15,000 iron ore remaining. That's a little bit better. 
I think. Put a small transformer near the plastic area and send the small wire down. Yeah, that's what I was thinking about. 12k difference? I think you had 3k left before. No, I think it was like half of our iron before. Alright, let's check on our fundament. Ooh, where did our oxygen go? It's not bad yet. Um, we are pumping it down. And we're not bottlenecking. We're not bottlenecking on the pipe or the output pressure these days. Wait, where is this going? Why is CO2 coming down this gas pipe? What? Oh, because this thing... Wait. Reduces carbon dioxide, converts natural gas into power. Oh, no. I think I made a boo-boo here. Um... No, this is the output pipe for this thing. What? This is the output pipe for this, so why is CO2 trying to go here? Because I put the gas filter around the wrong way. Okay. Filter connection, yeah. White in, green out. Indeed. I want it done today, please. Your CO2 from the coal generator is building up pressure and will push out your oxygen as well. Uh, well, once I get rid of this gas filter, I think it's going to head back up to space. Since that's the only output it has. I'm getting more than a little bit concerned about our oxygen. I guess we scrounge for more algae again. Um, we've got some here. Oh, wait. Let's leave that as it is. We've got a ladder here, actually. Insulated tile makes more sense. Wait. Oh, they'll do a block swap so they won't let the fluid in here, right? Venting it, yes. You can use it for other purposes. Some plants as well. Yeah, but for the moment, it's easier to get rid of it. I know the game doesn't let us plan out wire like this unless we have some resource available. Oh, I hope that was... Uh, it's a little bit of a waste to use tungsten for this, I think. Can we change it? We can change it. Gotta get your second electrolyzer up and running. Uh, I've got two electrolyzers running. 
the second one is waiting until there's a certain amount of battery charge um, before it'll run here. Maybe we could change that a little bit. So once the battery charge reaches basically 100%, these ones will kick on. That's going to happen once a certain amount of uh, H2 goes in here, which doesn't seem to want to happen. Oh, there's a big chunk of it. Hmm. I could maybe just set the threshold a bit lower. Let's say 80%. So then these switch on, and then we swiftly run out of battery charge, and it goes back to just one of these. Um, so it is bottlenecked on power. Let's check again. We've got... Uh, in reality, one-fifth of 240 watts, because it's going to bottleneck. Uh, the liquid pump has no minimum consumption. Nothing does in this game, I don't think. Um, and we bottleneck on only a fifth of the capacity of what the liquid pump can output. So we'll call that uh, uh, 48 watts. This is 58 watts now. And then we've got, at maximum, uh, let's see, 240 plus 240 plus 120 plus 120, 720 times 2. Well, it's 80, uh, 80 watts spare from each loop here. Well, not loop, each set of machines. Um, we've got 800 watts from the hydrogen generator. 720 watts... Wait, wait, no, let's time multiply this by two. Because I don't want the, uh, the one-off machines to throw off the calculation. So we're at 1440 watts plus, what was it, 58? Or 54 or something? I think 58. Uh, 1498 watts, and this can do 1600, uh, and one electrolyzer outputs 112 grams of hydrogen, uh, this thing only consumes 10, even when it is running, but even if we just had one, it would have a surplus of hydrogen to run the hydrogen generator. Hydrogen generator, 100 grams per second. And this is 112 grams per second, and this is 10. So we'd have a slight surplus of hydrogen with just one set. Um, there should be a bigger surplus of hydrogen proportionally with two or more sets of these machines. Um, but it just seems to take a really long time to actually accumulate enough uh, enough hydrogen to get the consistency that we need, because it comes out in random little bursts. I don't believe I ha it has a surplus. Uh, well, what part of that math do you disagree with? There's also the drain from the battery, but I don't think that's significant on a per second basis. And as for uptime, there's zero, apart from the battery drain, there's no like minimum power consumption on any of these machines. So whatever rate they're producing at overall, they should be producing a proportional amount of hydrogen that would keep it running. Should. 
It only works if your generator works all the time. Uh, no, that part shouldn't be correct because, like, like our pump only actually, if we only have one set of these machines, uh, the pump only needs to run 10% of the time to, uh, to supply enough water. So it's not actually over the long run drawing 240 kilowatts, it's, uh, 240 watts, it's drawing 24 on average. Most self-powered designs use gravity to separate the two gases, so no filter, and because the gas is separated, pumps are a smidge more efficient. Yeah, that would definitely work, I mean, in theory. I just don't trust it to separate the gases that effectively. You can't also fit the thermal... It, it would also... Hold on. I would also need, like, two gas pumps for the oxygen and one gas pump for the hydrogen. But I guess the same thing would apply where, because it's not running all the time, it doesn't actually cost more power, in effect. You can't also fit the thermal device in as a hydrogen load. Only the generator. Well, the math says we can, but in effect, it's just not working that way. Earningcalc.com. Might have a look at that later. Um, but yeah, I mean, we can we can do the math again. We've got 240 over 5. Because if everything's running at full speed, on average, this is only 48 watts. Plus 240, plus 240, plus 120, plus 120, and all of that again. 240, 240, 120, 120, 1488 watts, uh, plus 10. I, th I might have missed adding this at the start, so let's add another 48 just to be safe. Uh, that is 1546 watts, which is still still a surplus of power. Or it should be. The thing that gets you on the math is that your pumps can't actually move 500 grams a second for 240 watts because of the mixed gases. Uh, what do you mean by that? Do you mean the the gas pumps? I mean, they sh should. This should be pretty much a vacuum by now. You might have a point there. So, so the way gas pumps behave in this game, only taking in one gas at a time, they're effectively slowing down. And the, that might actually lead to them costing more power than they should to move the same amount of gas. I'm guessing they take the gas in as like chunks. And the power cost is based on a chunk, whether or not we get a lot of it. It is because they will grab 500 grams of oxygen and then a small bit of hydrogen. So that small bit of hydrogen costs just as much power as 500 grams of oxygen, for example. Is that it? We do have a coal generator to back it up as well, but it's still not working. You would think with the coal generator you could at least see this going more aggressively. 
exactly each packet costs 240 jewels. Okay. That's that's definitely some not all there in the manual kind of behavior. I'm not too surprised by it though. Hmm. It wouldn't... You couldn't really mitigate that much, even if you did have the gravity-based filtering. Also, there's oxygen in here. That doesn't bode well for the gravity-based filtering, unless we can get all of it out and then never go in here again. Work time for me. Good luck. Take care, Zakaluka. Thanks for hanging out. And thanks for the tip. Alright, let's have a look at our plastic build. We're still waiting on this replacement automation wire. We're still waiting on the transformer? Oh, I guess I set the wires as high priority as well. Um, let's make these, like, priority eight. So that we can see this stuff finished. We got printables. Uh... Sure. We'll take more hatchlings. Hopefully that is approaching the end of fluids raining from above. And let's... Oh wait, I forgot to check on oxygen. It's still pretty bad. There's a bunch of algae here. It's kind of far away, but that's by far the best chunk of it we're finding anywhere right now. Will they be able to jump up and... yeah, I think they will. Should be able to dig that pretty easily. Your T hacks and chat, rubber band Rambo. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Been looking the last few streams, hoping you're all doing well. Fantastic. Thanks for our event. And thanks for hanging out. Give me that precious life-giving algae. more up here as well. I think they can reach all of that. Cerberus Guns, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, we got some more algae down here.
over here, I suppose. And... Oh, what a mess. Why is this door left open? Rambo can hold machine gun in each hand. This squid uses cats as weapon. Okay. <laughs> to dig this in order to build this? I guess so. Don't sweep that up. That's supposed to be there. Posted an electrolyzer layout from one of my old games in Gen Chat. Fair enough. I should probably make an Oni room, actually. Uh, here we go. Oxygen not included. There we go. And don't forget this step, very important. Okay. Um, we got 6.3 tons of algae. That sounds like a lot, but I don't think it is. We got some algae up here that we can't reach right now. There's our transformer. We're just waiting on the automation wire now. It's already super high priority, so I don't know what is taking so long with this. I was going to say, I think I can guess maybe we don't have anyone who can build automation wire that can also use a suit, but some of the automation wire got built before anyway, so I'm sure that's not it. Uh, okay, there's our lead getting delivered. There's our wires getting built. Thank you, Quinn. curious as to why this wasn't finished, if it's a higher priority. We could make this our, um, our park. Nature reserve. How many do we need? Four wild plants. That's not that much. And at least 32 tiles. That's not that much either. Four plants, 32 tiles. We've got one, two, three. Uh, if our little pip friends plant another plant right about here somewhere, this could be a very convenient spot for a nature preserve. That's clay. That's a little bit of algae. I would like to get at the algae that we've got in our nature preserve here. Alright, oxygen's looking good again. That'll stop as soon as we run out of algae. I think I should probably... Hmm... I don't really have room to... Yes, I do. I think we should add another... And I need to crank up the priority on cleaning this out. 
And then I want to put another coal generator here that's going to power this loop here. That's a lot of hydrogen. Is it actually getting there? Dare I hope? Maybe... Let's crank up the priority on these mop jobs. I want this bit empty of fluid so that we can expand this room here. So we can put another coal generator next to this gas pump. Almost there. Good enough. Fantastic. And we won't have to spend too, too much on a little bit more wire. Digging into that lead is a huge help. I'll definitely be making more of a beeline to this biome in a future playthrough. Not to mention there's big chunks of iron that we can exploit on the way there. Is it okay if we dig in here? Yeah, it is. We already proposed? He wanted to figure it out himself. Yeah, definitely. As much as I can for the first playthrough. Before I net deck. What? Oh, come on. Are you serious? Undead Hunter at it again. Stop trying to kill me? Stop trying to kill yourself! That was just uncalled for. Alright, let's keep a close eye on this job in particular. Whoops. Let me step in this hole before I build this wall. Yes. Okay, it is being supplied. Let's check our print. Uh, curative tablet, yes please. In fact, I don't think I've queued any jobs at the apothecary for a long time. What does this cost? Too much. Dirt and Blossom Seed. Why not? Medical Pack? Can't do that. Serum Vial. Never mind. Dupes love finding ways to kill themselves? <laughs> yeah. I was really lucky that I checked on this when I did. It might have been a problem if the first I heard of it was an alarm. Meat? Got athletics. Nice. Yep, 
And we can now queue up coal generator. Uh, did we queue up the automation wire as well? We did not. Probably replace that airflow tile with like ladder or something. Okay, Ben Wu knows how it's done. Good job, Ben Wu. Oxygen is pretty good for now. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for not attempting accidental suicide. I guess that sentence doesn't make any sense. Are there any dupes left to name? Yeah, I think there's two or three. We've got Bert, Quinn, Ari, and Meep. Meep wasn't renamed, right? That is a default name. I can double check. I'm pretty. I, I looked at it yesterday because because um, uh, it turned out we actually missed someone, and I haven't marked. I haven't marked the uh, redeems as complete. So we've got. Oh, I missed damsel. Sneaky. Uh, we got Whiskers, Sigma, Veldak, Morpheus, Benwu, Sheepsea Mare. Cool band name. Oh no, that's name and base. Oh, I need to filter it. Name and base, cool band name. Five days ago. Uh, five days ago. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Name upon. Okay. We got Whiskers, Sigma, Veldak, Morpheus, Benwu, Sheepsea Mare. Nerita, Karenza, Undead, Cabin, DK, I Am Suck, Damsel Happens. Okay. Uh, so not Meep. Let's go... That's how you spell it, right? Yes. I Am Suck is already named actually and happens okay one two three four five six seven eight oh wait 13 yeah yeah, yeah. let's double check this one two three four five six seven eight 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Perfect. There we go. And we've got, what, two or three left. Uh, we've got Quinn. And we've got Meep. And Rowan. Nice, now in my part. Uh, Sloda. Name upon. Okay. How about uh, Meep? Because I keep thinking Meep is taken. Slow to... There we go. Might as well. Indeed. Okay. Uh, where are we up to? Did we get this done? We did. Very, very nice. Meep is always the dupe who does the most dumb things. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, and it's actually time. Construction jobs. There aren't any. 
it's time to put a pump down here. Exciting. Uh, can dupes just dive into oil? I'm guessing yes. Liquid pump. Fire. Plumbing. And all of the priority. Fantastic. Battery, 100 to 0. I actually want to see how it behaves if I leave it on default settings. Like, will there be a moment when nothing is powered? If I set the low threshold on zero? It's finally happening. We're gonna get plastic today. The goal is uh, one single solitary working steam turbine. That's what I wanted to get done this stream. You might lose some uptime or power due to rounding. That's more what I was expecting. I want to see it uh, in action. Is that a new plant? No, we've already marked this. If I can pump some oxygen down here, this... Well, no, it's already past our Atmo docks. Is the pump steel... Uh, is it going to be too hot or something if it isn't? I don't have any steel. I don't think it's possible for me to have steel at this point. 80 degrees, that is something to consider though. Um, this isn't gonna break because of temperature. This might. Maybe I, I probably should have used igneous rock at the very least. Overheat temp for other stuff is around 75 here. Yeah. So this is 75. If I use gold amalgam, it's plus 50. Uh, well, we're going to have to do that. Pump out of gold amalgam. And... Should I make the pipes out of something different? It's a bit late. What is it made out of? Liquid pipe, properties, igneous rock. Okay, I did that part right before. I think this time I set it to be made out of sandstone. Um, so let's go pipes, cancel. Uh, should I do insulated? Maybe. It's not like we're trying to keep the fluid a particular temperature. I don't think insulated means the pipe will be any safer. Oh, I was muted. Yeah, the wires might melt. I don't think I can do better than this right now, though. Uh, I guess I could use gold amalgam for the wires. Uh, it doesn't say that it can overheat. But maybe it doesn't have to.
The wires are good. Okay. If you don't insulate it, the base will heat. Yeah, we've got insulation for the processing area. They melt at very high temperatures. Okay. Uh, big up. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Black Kappa. Welcome, welcome. Low threshold on zero results. It stutter stops. The power thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's kind of what I'm expecting. I just want to run the experiment just briefly. We're so close. Uh, maybe I should have put the pump here. It's not too late, I suppose. Up to here. Priority a million. I don't think we're... Oh. I don't think we're going to need this much oil to get our 200 kilograms of plastic, but still. So are these guys going to be producing oil just sitting out here in the wild, or no? We got granite. Wait, did we already have granite? Probably not. They would, but they already sucked up all the CO2 in that little pocket. They eat CO2? Okay. This is vacuum. I could give them some CO2. So, if I... Oh boy. That's... That's... That's gonna be a long... Gas pipe. Am I pumping anything other than CO2 into this gas pipe now? Oh, I forgot to replace the gas filter the right way around this time. Uh, yes, because I, whatever's in here... If we can get this to be a vacuum... Uh then we can count on only CO2 being in this pipe. Honestly, you could pop that open just so they would start eating the ambient CO2. Yeah, that's that's a point, actually. It's not like there's a shortage of CO2 down here. And I don't think there ever will be. Our dupes produce it, after all. They're not going to, like, come up into our base or something. Right? What's this plant? Jumping Joya. Requires oxygen, polluted oxygen, or carbon dioxide. Domestic growth. Uh, decorative plants that are quickly said to make gardeners jump for joy. Decor negative 20? Huh? That's a good plant. Why is the decor negative? It's not a zombie spore? I'm scared. Not unless the oil rises all the way up. Okay. Negative decor because growth halted, I see. Feeling of calmness and well-being. Temperature 0 to 100, oxygen, polluted oxygen or carbon dioxide. 
I guess we can take that. Hey there, where do we stand? Uh, TNT mod D. Welcome, welcome. We are inches away from getting our first oil and our first plastic, for that matter. So I guess we've already got an infinite supply of oil in that case. Slicksters, yes indeed. Very conveniently placed slicksters. Um, can the dupes not reach this? I guess not. We're so close. Fan plastic. <laughs> yes, indeed. And they are eating our carbon dioxide for us as well. I mean, very, very slowly, I'm sure. I don't think we'll ever see the carbon dioxide retreat all the way down here. Or anything like that. Maybe we could breed them down here? Oh, it's night time, isn't it? No? Well, now it's night time. Body temperature. Oh, that... Ooh. That is suboptimal. Uh... Are we still growing food? Uh, we've only got 27,000 calories. This is actually really bad. Um, that's actually terrifying. We had over 100,000 before. The trees are still growing, right? What's the temperature like here? Uh, some of it is cool enough to grow plants. Room size 72, it could be 96. Um, let's see. 96 tiles. produce plastic. We're getting there. Uh, in fact, we're ready. Let's turn on these coal generators. I, I think it said someone was fleeing, so that must be here. No? Oh, what have we got? Printer. Farm lily seed. Bufflet egg. Uh, yes please. Wait, 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 wait. Puffs. Oh, this isn't like an omelette or anything. This is, um... What is a fry? Oh, it makes paku. Does that mean... Even though we don't have... Uh, fish trap? 
we can make a Paku farm somehow? Oh, we need an incubator, probably. Yeah, I... I don't want to bother with that. At least not yet. Uh, this one. Grab their eggs and drop them in water? You just drop them in water. Okay. Or above water and let them waddle into water. Okay. Once you have plastic, you can make a cooling loop that will resolve your temperature concerns. Yeah, I have heard of that before. Um, Bufflet egg, let's see. Oh, right. Huff. Puffed? I guess, yeah, this hatched from Pufflet egg. Consumes polluted oxygen and makes slime. That's helpful. If we feed it something else, does something bad happen? Oxygen becomes oxalite. That doesn't sound too bad. I'm guessing we probably net lose oxygen with that. Or do we? 30 kilograms becomes 3 kilograms of oxalite. How much oxalite? Solid. Uh, increases its emission rate, depletes the ore more rapidly. That's if we dig it. Chemical compound that slowly emits breathable oxygen. But at what rate? Uh, if we do this, for example, are we losing oxygen? I would imagine yes. The puffs make slime, so it can cause slime lung problems. Uh oh. 30 kilograms of oxygen becomes 3 kilograms of oxalate. Considering f the dense puffed turns 50 into 47.5, I imagine this is just losing a ton of oxygen. Just for rocket oxidizer, yeah. Hmm. So do we not want puffed eggs at this point? If I could make it just consume polluted oxygen? Or isn't it only like future generations that might turn into the other types of puffs? So the ones that we get will just want to consume polluted oxygen. Is that right? We've already got a storage system for the slime. Um, to keep it from causing slime lung. Okay, let's try it. What's the worst that could happen? I'll lower the priority on this in a moment. Since it's not like it's critical to survival or anything. Alright, that battery is well and truly full. And I would imagine there's going to be a moment when it runs out. When things stop being able to work. Okay, yes. Very much so. Let's put our low threshold at like 25%. Slime lung? The worst old dupes get COVID and die in a coughing fit. 
but I've got a storage system for slime that's underwater, which, as I understand, prevents prevents that issue. A little bit of slime lung per day keeps the doctor away. <laughs> what? Digging through slime with slime lung is fine as long as it isn't airborne. Is, doesn't it get airborne just from the slime being here? Apparently not. I would have thought just this... Maybe it was different in a previous version. I would have thought this was actually a problem. Um, and we had to always dig this away and keep it not exposed to the air. Not that I'm aware of. Or maybe it's because there's carbon dioxide here. It gets all over them, but washing hands, etc. Okay, so we've got our very first crude oil coming up the pipe now. Um, wait a sec. Why is... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I don't think we want crude oil in our water supply, actually. Uh, deconstruct that, please. And... Deconstruct that, please. Super high priority. In fact... Top priority. Okay. I don't think that oil is going anywhere now, even if we didn't remove these bits. So if we want to take this water back up there, we need a... Liquid bridge? And here's our crude oil. Does this need duplicate operation? Uh, it doesn't look like it. Oil refinery. Duplicate operation. Yes, yes it does. My first playthrough ended shortly after steel and plastic. I just cooked the base. Oh no. OG slime lung was so deadly, as was bacteria. Add a mod called Pliers, it's super useful. Quality of life mod that allows connecting and disconnecting utilities. Hmm. Oh, this thing is a battery as well. Not a very big battery. Uh, I might want to set this a little bit lower. I'm guessing we maybe waste a tiny bit of energy otherwise. Okay, so... Uh, I guess... Crank the priority on these if we want to actually... See them working. I don't think I've got... No filter selected. Oh, 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 oh. Um... Well, it's only pumping polluted oxygen for now. But we want natural gas to come to our natural gas generator just to make use of it and reduce the load of coal that we need a little bit. Although that puts carbon dioxide in polluted water. It probably would have been easier just to vent the natural gas, but I guess having a, another water source isn't the worst. Errands. Fabricate. Operating. I think we've got a bunch of operating uh, orders that are 
set as very high priority because they're manual generators that provide oxygen, for example. It would also help if people weren't asleep right now. Highest stress, 21%. It's only whiskers. Uh, what's whiskers troubles? Everyone else is at 0% right now. Status? Stress? Smelled flowers. Low morale. Low morale? Whiskers? Oh no. Um, how did this happen? Since when? Uh oh. That seems bad. Since you upgraded him so much, but it was pu it was still positive when I upgraded him. Otherwise, I wouldn't have done it. Uh, is that what I think it is? Does this not require duplicate operation? Uh, it does not. The So the refinery does require duplicate operation, at least to some extent, but the polymer press doesn't. Damage overheating, that's ungood. I think the water cooled it down a little bit. The whole base has been flooded with hot, polluted muck. Yes, indeed. It's it's fine, though, probably. Uh, let's put... Fry egg in here. It's fine. Yeah, that's what we'll tell ourselves. No worries. And I might put a pump down here again. Maybe. This is this why it was already theoretically overloaded. Let's maybe not actually. At least, not yet. So what is that barrel? Or is that part of the machine? Oh, it's part of the machine. Okay. How long does it take? Oh, here it is. We did it. Plastic, we got 120 kilos. So one more operation, I imagine. And we'll be able to build our first steam turbine. Set up some deodorizers? I forgot those existed. Uh, what do they need? Filtration medium and nothing else. Oh, five watts. I remembered, yeah, I remember there was something about this that was terrible. It now, now requires 5 watts. Um, it's not that bad, I guess. But where am I going to put it? Where is the polluted oxygen? There's some. Um, right about here. And there's definitely some polluted oxygen up here, courtesy of our water.
How about this? guess over here. Why is this here? Oh, let's just give that a go for now. Uh, we're up to 150, so what is that, 30 kilograms per operation, maybe? Oh, you can see it coming out. 180. Taking its sweet time. And... 210. We got there eventually. Alright, so steam turb, that is kind of big. Uh, so it's got five tiles underneath it that are like... I guess we have to have solid blocks there? Or does it provide its own solid blocks? Can we take advantage of some heat somewhere? I mean, we've definitely got some free steam up here. That is so far out of the way, though. Um, and I understand we need some... Thermo Aqua Tuners. Uh, that gives us heat, but it cools fluid. What other sources of heat do we have? Electricity into heat is not going to work out. Uh, we're not going to, like, produce enough heat consistently with something like a metal refinery. I think it's, uh... Probably has to have the thermo aqua tuners involved, right? All of the temperature-based things... Strictly temperature-based things are in here. We've got... Thermo regulator cools the gas piped through it, but outputs heat. Uh, cools the liquid piped through it, but outputs heat. Okay, 1.2 kilowatts, 240 watts. We could pump... Oh, it's net... I see. Okay. We could pump hot air or hot fluid through one of these. This one's a lot more energy efficient. You always want a couple of steam turbine with an aqua tuner below it. A couple of steam turbines. Um, and we want to flash water to steam using this heat, right? So I guess... This thing cools fluid, but it becomes very hot. What if there's fluid not just in the pipes, but around the aqua tuna? It's not going to malfunction, right? This one, this one didn't malfunction when there was water around it. Need to choose the right material, otherwise it can't stand the heat. Yeah, um, the best we've got is gold amalgam. Plus 50 degrees, so overheat temperature starts at 125. This can go to 175. That should be way more than enough to flash the water to steam. Uh, what's this? Wolframite. High thermal conductivity, thermally reactive. Gold amalgam. Uh, let's see. Specific heat capacity. Overheat temperature plus 50. Okay. 
Wolf or Knight is... It doesn't have a plus percentage. So, by far the best material we've got at the moment is Gold Amalgam. The Aqua Tuna can work in water or any fluid. Keep in mind that for full efficiency, the steam turbine needs the steam to be at least 200 degrees. Jeez. So, we want to cool our base and we want to pump fluid through here and or air through here that's going to get cooled. And we want to use that heat to go to flash water to steam so that we can use our steam turbine that's going to turn that into power and turn the steam back into water. Where are we going to fit all of this? And are we going to have to run air and or water pipes all the way through the base to steal the heat from it? Um, I suppose so, but for our first little experiment in this, we should probably do something a bit less ambitious, right? Um, if we build it somewhere hot to begin with... Right to left, tank, temp, automation, the pipe, cooling, what? Uh, more deep, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. The aqua tuner slash regulator is pretty much the only way to control heat transfer. Aquatuna always uh, allows you to transfer heat directly into a hot steam room that your turbine can, can turn into power. Yeah. Whoop, where are we? Um, where should I build this? That is the question. There's a lot of heat here. It's 99 degree water already, actually. Um, okay. We're already pumping hot water in here. So, why don't we take advantage of that? This doesn't really care what temperature the water is, as long as it's not so hot or cold that it damages things. And we could have uh it does oh that's yeah that's it's it's still like 60 69 70 degrees. We could have four uh we could have as many as four Thermo aqua tuners stealing the heat from this water. Okay, I think this is where I want to build this stuff. Um, so we'll go something like. Could do it here, I could do it here. We've already got these tiles here. I I I want the dupes to still have access to this stuff. So maybe. As many as four of these. Why is that gold colored? Unreachable build. That's probably why. And then we have... Oh, that's too many. Or is it... Should I have it... Like one or two steam turbines? Um, we should probably make sure there's room like this. 
We need to get some water in here as well to start with, but that's not going to be difficult. So, one, two, three at least. Uh, one steam turbine. We could extend this out if if it makes sense later on. And we need... Does this have an output pipe? Oh, it does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, I think we should probably... have something like... The output pipe is there. So let's move these over a tile. Um, liquid vent here. So steam... Uh, water here gets flashed to steam, goes up into the steam engine, comes straight back down here. Right? Do these tiles here have to be built as well, or is that like part of the steam engine? Yes. Okay. And then we can repeat this as many times as makes sense. Um, I guess... How much power does this make? Uh, 850 watts. The aqua tuners are gonna cost us... 1.2 kilowatts? Each? That doesn't add up. I'm guessing the aqua tuna just doesn't have to run anywhere near as much as all the time. That's a really good first build. Uh, thank you. I think. I mean, I mean, it's not finished yet, obviously. Um, so you only need one aqua tuna? Yeah, I kind of figured after looking at the power cost of this. Um, I'm sure it's going to be running at a, a, an average rate of less than 800 kilowatts, right? So I guess I need a temperature sensor in here to turn the aqua tuna on and off. Is that right? Thermo sensor. Oh, you can turn this on and off. Interesting. We just need it to be hot enough for there to be steam, right? Or just keep it below the temperature that this would break, actually. Speaking of which, does this... do we have to worry about that at all with the steam turbine? I should hope not. We make it out of refined metal anyway. Uh, overheat temperature... from refined metal is actually negative 20. That's bad. High thermal conductivity, thermally reactive. Overheat temperature, a thousand degrees. Okay, I don't think we have to worry in this instance. Uh, the Midnicorn, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Mostly off, if you cool too much, the pipes will burst. Indeed. It's really important you turn the aqua tuna room into a vacuum with water on the floor before you seal the room. Hmm. A vacuum, you see. Why is that? Uh, 
The turbine gives you only some power back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need gold and oil to avoid overheating. Uh, I don't have... Do I, do I have to process gold? To make the steam turbine? Or do you mean for the uh, thermo aqua tuna? We're already using gold amalgam for the thermal aqua tuna. You want the steam room to be just steam. Getting it to be vacuum first is how you remove the other... Oh, does this thing get hurt if you give it anything but steam? Oh. Okay. That's a problem. We do have an... Uh, we do have a get rid of every gas pipe that's surprisingly busy right here. It's actually extremely busy because it's got lots of small packets. It won't eat other gases, but the heat transfer will be worse if it's not just steam. Okay. Um... So, our thermal aqua tuna overheat temperature 175. And someone said the steam turbine is more efficient if it's like 200 degrees, but we can't go that hot yet. It will push out all gas. You just need to fill the room with water where the tuna is. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's good. That's that's a good point. So... I could just pipe water in here directly and then get rid of that bit of pipe once the time comes. Are we not going to be able to fill it with water completely if there's gas in here, though? Can't you make steel yet? No. I haven't even seen a hint of how to make steel in this game. Smart storage bin. Sends a green signal when full. When would that be good? I wonder. Um, Alright, so we've got our aqua tuna, our sensor to turn it off when things get hot enough. Uh, our loop. I think the hardest part figuring this out right now is how are we going to fill this up with water and get all of the gas out. Hmm. Remove that for now. Make this an airflow tile, at least temporarily. And then fill this with water. Um, make all of those airflow tiles. Fill this uh, 5x2 up with water. And then replace the airflow tiles with insulated tiles? Question mark? I think that might be it. Let's just... Let's have our dupes build this for a start. And for power... Um... We're just going to do the bare minimum at first. Uh, 
automation wire. We already lined that up. Who's getting scolded? Ben Wu, only a little bit. Oh, we got Paco in. Oh, the egg is incubating. Fantastic. And so is this one. Nice. Are you kidding me? When? Uh, how about you... Remove these two for now. Oh, I can configure the sensor now. Uh, so let's double check again. Our thermal, thermo aqua tuna can go to 175 degrees without taking damage. So we'll tell it to shut off at 170. Or maybe I should go a bit lower because like one operation will push it a bit higher than 175. Uh, let's put it at 150 and see what it does. And that's actually everything except the steam engine. We will need to kickstart this thing. Um, I, I'm resisting the temptation to steal from this wire. That would be a little bit bad. Let's just put another generator here. Which liquid will you cool? Uh, I was going to cool this hot water that is coming out of here before it goes up to the cold biome. I think he's going to do water. Won't have access to super coolant for a while. Yeah. Building lacks resources? Oh, that's fine. No research focus selected. Uh, cool. That's kind of good. Did we miss anything up here? Doesn't seem like it. Notification sensors might be nice at some point. Blue water works well? Yeah, I know. It's got, like, it's got a lower freezing point. For some reason. Uh, why are we not building this though? Is it sleepy time? It's not sleepy time. Ben Wu requires land skill. Uh oh. Wait. Hasn't everyone got skills? Electrical engineering. Skills. Electric. 
electrical engineering. We've got two people, Whiskers and Sloder, who can do it. Uh, Whiskers. Priorities. Operating is much higher. In fact, you pretty much don't have a construction priority. Sloder. Doctoring, operating. Um, so do I have to deprioritize their usual jobs to get this done? Your mechanics that... Ha yeah, yeah, yeah. They have no build priority. Uh, that's kind of... Kind of cringy. Follow cam, Sloder. Sloder, could you do me a favor? Build this place. Thank you. And I'll have to change it back after that. Attribute increase. Construction. Fantastic. Uh, there we go. That's fine. Okay, so... Now we need to... We need to build this, and then after that's built, we need to build this. And build this as well, please. Water pipes to the aqua tuna? Uh, good point. Liquid bridge back this way. Should I get rid of this part? Probably. Hmm. Won't that mean that if the aqua tuna doesn't run, we won't get fluid through here? The overall rate we need is pretty low, so it should be okay. If I fork it so that water can go there as well, we're probably going to get, like, the output being blocked. So I'm not entirely sure how to go about that. I need an overflow with two liquid bridges before the aqua tuna. Two liquid bridges? All right. All right. Good. Perfect. It's hard to explain. Okay. We should be able to build the pipe after building this, right? So now... Uh, this goes here. And then we can remove it after this is full of water. Have to leave. We'll watch the VOD later. Take care happens. Thanks for hanging out. Good luck. Don't kill us. I shall endeavor to do my best. 
Why is this wire uh, taking so long to get made? Awaiting delivery lead. Maybe I should crank up the priority. But we've got lead, right? 5.56 tons. They just need to bring it from all the way down here. What are you doing? Uh, supplying... Is this the lead? It looks like it might be. Uh, I think Quinn was headed in the right direction, but the bell just rang. Schedule. Yeah, I think there's probably some lead dropped around here somewhere. Unless she carried it to bed or something. We have printables. What the... Uh, rust, you say. Oxygen production processes. Rust. Nunny? Okay, here we go. Rust solid. Rust deoxidizer. Plus, rust plus salt makes... Oxygen, chlorine, and iron. Do we have that already? I think we might. We do. Rust deoxidizer. Rust plus salt plus power equals oxygen, chlorine, and iron. It's quite cheap power-wise. Um... Chlorine, we already have some chlorine here, right? Or we tried to have some chlorine here. Or you're trying to keep the water clean. Oh, I may have let it escape. I don't know where it is now. There's a little bit of chlorine here. Whoops. Also, this never got built. Not sure why. Um, our other option is sand. <laughs> I think we have enough sand, probably. Uh, that's not what I'm looking for. Sand. We've got 171 tons of sand. So, bearing that in mind, I think we'll take a little bit of rust. Okay, so this is filling up with water. Fantastic. It's gonna take a minute. Errands. Everyone's asleep. Or oh, everyone's just waking up. Undead Hunter is delivering. Fantastic. Undead Hunter. Why doesn't it? It's getting less responsive, the UI is. Alright, we finally have this wire. Fantastic. Uh, I guess I probably have to connect a battery to it in order to get dupes to run this. Maybe worth putting up FPS? What do you mean by that? Low resolution textures. I don't think it's the graphics that is the reason it's slowing down. 400 watt versus 1200 needed? Uh, I just want to get the... Oh, there it is. I just want to get the aqua 
uh, Aquatina to actually do something, like to get started, that's all. Um, let's disable this until we're ready. As long as we get enough power to make just a little bit of steam to get this loop started, and um, that's all that really matters. And that's that's actually like half of what the steam turbine can do, weirdly enough. Almost. Unfortunately, gets worse. My cycle 2600 colony is a bit sluggish. Yeah. Yeah, because it's all simulation. That's the reason this is getting slow. Um... It's not the... It's not the shiny graphics. Not a whole lot I can do about it. Alright, we're actually halfway there. I think he's just using the loop to fill the steam chamber. Yes. A YouTuber struggled with FPS when his base has got really big. The computer had so much logic to do. Similar to Factorio. Yeah. Very similar to Factorio. Um, just a decent computer can handle the graphics very easily. Um, but it, if you build big enough, pretty much no computer that you can buy is going to... I mean, if if you just keep expanding and expanding and expanding all the stuff that has to be calculated, eventually you're going to hit a limit. Alright, uh, are we getting close to enough water... It's going to have pushed out all of the gas that could be in these tiles. Lowering FPS is a symptom of the amount of work the game is doing. Yes, indeed. What the... There we go. I'm surprised how long this is taking to fill up, actually. Dartano, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Only does a ton of simulations, just fluid and air stuff is a drag. Yeah, no doubt. So once... Once water is no longer able to be pumped in here, we're going to change these airflow tiles to uh, insulated. Uh, so this should have no gas in it whatsoever. And if we can then flash that to steam, we'll get our loop working. Come to think of it, I guess this doesn't have to be sealed off. Because the water gets pumped straight back down here, right? This area doesn't end up with steam in it. I'm pretty sure. Is that it? I see a gap here. Um, I don't know if... I don't know if there's going to be a little bit of gas left in here after all. The airflow tile allows the vertical gas movement. Yeah, it's so that the gas can escape before we replace these tiles. Plenty enough water, the tiles are filled in. Fantastic. Yeah, that's that's what I want to see. I don't know why the steam turbine is doing things. I guess it's not actually doing things. Alright, so then we want to remove this tile, so we're no longer pumping more water in. The, uh, the pipe, specifically. I 
I usually use 100 kilo of water per tile in the steam room, but I don't think there's any limit. Okay. Well, that, like, the only reason I wanted it to be this full uh, is to make sure that there's no gas. Like, that's one easy way to do it. Um, steam takes up more room, though, right? That might be a problem. We're going to find out. It's Thompson, Lumi, welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. I believe you can optimize UPS performance a lot by boxing up all items from the ground. Uh, that might help. Fewer items to check when... when dupes are given jobs. Oh wow, our storage is so full. I need to make another storage. Can we make a bigger storage box? I guess not. Anyway, this is what I want to see before we finish the stream today. Uh, hopefully someone gets started in a moment. I wish I'd thought of this. Vacuum chambers are a bit of a nuisance. Yeah. That's why I did it this way. Okay. Moment of truth. Sloder is coming. Make us proud Sloder. No power, some power. What's the temperature like in here? 90 degrees? Uh... It may... Is the, is the water getting hotter? No? I think we might need a bit more help to get this kick started. So many mechanisms and quirk in this game that explaining it via chat would require non-stop typing. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah, I don't think we're making any progress getting it started. Oh? No, I saw the I saw the temperature go up. Oh, the output pipe is blocked. Uh that is problematic. We could forget about forget about cooling this. We could just make a little loop here. Someone gonna... there we go. Okay. Did I make this high priority? I did not. And we want this replaced at some point as well. There we go. Okay, so this thing is able to do its thing. Can I actually just... Liquid pipe. Can I give an order to empty that one bit of pipe so there's a bit more room? Extract Extract pipe contents. There we go. Oh wait, there's already an empty tile there. We probably don't need to do that. Actually, I take it back. This looks a bit too full. I thought at first we would just have to put more power into this to get it started, but I think the liquid flow is also an issue. Someone coming. 
Is this it? That's what I need to see. Okay, so there's, there's definitely room for this thing to output. But now we need more power. Make a hole in the side and release the water? Yeah, no, I released it by using the extract pipe components command. Uh, Valblaud? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Isn't there too much water? If all the tiles are full of water, there's no room for steam. Uh, I was wondering that about that as well myself, but I think we want to get this to say over 100 degrees before we conclude that. Okay, we got printer balls. And now it's just giving us plastic. I assume this can't happen until after we've produced plastic ourselves. I'll definitely take it though. Liquid vent overpressure, that makes sense. Wait, how did this even get anything to output, actually? I don't think it did. Okay, never mind. Steam turbine produces less than the Thermo Aquatuna. Yeah, but I imagine the Aquatuna doesn't actually have to run all the time to support the steam turbine. Can we please get this wire built? I guess someone is making a long trip to do it again. Conductive wire errands. Quinn, current errand. Fantastic. We're not about to sh swap the schedule, are we? Nope. Hurry up, Quinn. Thank you. There we go. Now that should... Hopefully... No, don't, don't leave now. Oh my goodness. Aaron, someone is coming. Here we go. Is this going to be enough to get it above 100 degrees? Uh, it doesn't appear so. It, why isn't it heating up even a little bit, though? That doesn't... That doesn't make sense. It doesn't seem to be producing heat at all. I think... Okay, that just went over a hundred very briefly. Like once every ten jolts or something. We need to deliver proper power? Yeah, I think so. Okay, um, what I'm gonna do here is put a battery down. Um, I want to steal power from this circuit. Deconstruct these two. Temporarily remove just a little piece of wire here. And then... Smart battery... Goes here. Well, I could add a switch instead of doing that. Uh, 
Does, does, is that how that works? Does not affect circuitry preceding the switch. Switches can only affect buildings that come after them on a circuit. Okay. If I do it like this, does that work? Let's find out. Take the small transformer. Uh, this needs like 1.2 kilowatts though, I think. To run properly at first. Alright, once again... Uh, I think I should hurry up and make some storage for the lead so we just haul that up here as a matter of course. Uh, preferably on the opposite side of the Atmos suit docks. These small packets are really limiting the throughput um, for our for our vacuum gas vent. Makes it impossible to squeeze in additional gases later on. How much plastic do we have? We've already got 1.2 uh 1200 kilograms. That's good. How much oil have we consumed? Not a whole lot, it would seem. Even better. Alright, so... Is this switched on or off? Is this off? Switch active. Switch inactive. Okay, cool. Switch active? Is that how that works? The temperature of the aqua tuner increases by the same amount of heat energy that is removed from the water in the aqua tuner loop, but your water pool is transferring that energy back into the pipe loop. So the steam room temperature will never increase. Hmm. Apart from heat being waste energy that we can never get rid of. Oh, that's bad. Uh, that does make sense. So this would heat up very slowly. So I actually... Hmm. So I have to take this liquid pipe somewhere cooler? Or hotter, rather. Yeah, I have to steal heat from somewhere else. Should have made those pipes insulated. Yeah, it's not just that though, is it? Alright, this once this battery is full, I want to run this experiment anyway. Now it's going down, uh, probably because of this logic up here. So once it gets to 80%, we'll flip this. Or 50%, close enough. Alright, what's our temperature here? Over 100? That did not last very long. <laughs> Okay. 
Alright, we're over time. I think we'll have to finish the stream there, but uh, pretty obviously we'll be getting this working in relatively short order next time we're next time we're doing oxygen not included. Uh, let's see who we're gonna raid today. Take care, Whiskers. Thanks for hanging out. Hot liquid in, cool liquid out. Yep. Uh, we got... Oh, uh, I should look for someone playing Oni, right? Let's see... The Great Train Wreck? Sounds good to me. All right, let's give Discount Engineer a go. Take care, Sloder. Uh, Zaxxon, Veldek, Night Dancer, thanks for hanging out. The hot steam turbine will have to be sealed off as well, otherwise your room will get steaming hot. Yeah, well, that's why it's in insulation tiles. Okay. Uh, thank you all for watching, do take care, and I'll see you next time. Tomorrow we're continuing with space exploration. Um, and we're pretty much just getting into having a proper early main bus base. Um, we're doing Crestorio uh, 2 plus space exploration, and I haven't played that before. Uh, so we've got a whole lot of new gas stuff to play with now. Well, on the right, there aren't any tiles. Oh, you mean here? Oh, right. That's what I was wondering about before. Anyway, uh, let's head over and say hello to Discount Engineer. Tail and Grandmaster, thanks for stopping by. Take care, guys.